apparently the the title screen is different now that we've beaten more of the game. That's cool. So this is the first time seeing this. Uh, welcome back, everybody. We're doing Liza P the final day. I played, I think, over 35 hours at this point. And in the next five hours, I'm planning to beat the game. That is a, a high possibility. I'm not sure exactly if we're going to get our ass kicked or not, but I tried to not be too bad. And we're on chapter 11. I think we're at the halfway point, roughly. I think I died to that, that, uh... Was it, what, what was the, oh, it was the black cat. The black cat killed me right before we ended yesterday. All right, let's continue. What counts as watch hours? Can you just fast forward the end and then that counts as a full hour? Well, you could leave the video on when you go to sleep, Backham, if you want to help the engagement for the new channel. And also just to, just to get it out of the way before we get into this, there is a second YouTube channel now for all the long form content. So if you guys like watching the stream, you like watching full playthroughs, all of the full playthroughs that we do on here will be on the second channel. Not all of them will make it onto the main channel. And if they do, they're going to be edited. So if you want to watch all the content you might have missed on the stream, it's going to be on there. Um, Armored Core playthrough is going up right now. So the first part's already there. I scheduled every single part of it for the next week to upload every single day. After that's going to be Convergence. So the Convergence playthrough for Elden Ring. It's only two parts. Um, and then there's going to be some other content as well. And eventually there's going to be Lies of P. Lords of the Fallen full playthrough is going to be on there too. Uh, and then that way you can actually watch the full playthrough if you wanted to. Um, but to be able to get the, the second channel partnered, I have to get a thousand subs on it. And I believe it's like 5,000 hours of watch time. So everybody that's not subbed to it right now, click that link. Do that, especially if you're going to watch the, the long form content and you want to have background noise or whatever. You want to have a full playthrough going in the background. When I'm not live, it's, uh, it's like the same thing. There you go. Yeah, we're at the end right now. We're in the Upper Abbey. Although, I think that there might have been a shortcut that I missed down here. I must have unlocked something else. Unless I really have to go through that whole area again. He's got all achievements for Liza P. What a grind. This is one of those games, dude, where I would actually go for all achievements on it. I can totally see that. You weren't supposed to say you died at the at the boss. It was supposed to be a first try. I decided to be honest, dude. This isn't lies of Squilla. It's lies of P. <laughs> oh no, this thing's really strong. I forgot. Oh wait, why did I not hit the? Whoa! Something's going on here. I didn't hit the stargazer. Okay, we're definitely going back down. Yeah, how's everybody's day going so far? Left early on Lords of the Fallen, the ad stream. What was the verdict in the end? He led, Lords of the Fallen is really cool, and I'm super excited to play it again. So the goal is, uh, if we beat this today, I can play more Lords of the Fallen tomorrow. And then that's going to be the last stream before TwitchCon. Well, the full stream of it, try to get as far as possible. Try to do a solid six, seven hours of it. And uh, then I'll come back to it the following Monday. So in the beginning of next week. Maybe Sunday. Maybe Sunday if I have time to stream on Sunday when I'm back. I feel like this is the only enemy I've actually killed by just getting a critical on its butt. Like that's <laughs> I've always gotten the criticals from the front. I feel like I'm disrespecting that tiger thing. The butthole slam. Yeah, I haven't really been doing a lot of those in this playthrough. It's the only type of enemy. Okay, I can't remember if we're supposed to go through here or not. The butt bandit, there you go. You'll probably finish today unless you get really stuck on a boss. Okay. That's good news. I mean, I've been actually cleaning up the late game pretty quickly. So Swamp Dude took an, uh, about an hour. 
the Brotherhood trio plus the the original guy took under an hour. Um, Door Giant didn't take that long. And then the one that was in the Alchemist area, like one of the Alchemists, that, like the one that duplicates, that literally took two tries. Or three tries, so. Like, we have definitely sped up towards the end. I think the longest boss fight was still King of Puppets. Oh yeah, wait, what? Why is... Why can I not open that yet? The trench coat guys are really easy to make. Oh shit. <laughs> Don't read chat while running down the stairs. Uh, Sylvan, you mean like to backstab them? It's pretty easy. They, they are pretty easy to backstab you, right? Uh, Mad Scientist, how are you doing? Another day of Liza P indeed. It's actually going to be kind of sad when I beat this game because I really enjoyed it. Uh, the only thing I'm really trying to be diligent with is beating it before TwitchCon so I don't have to come back to it because I like playing it every single stream and being consistent with it. So it's going to be annoying if I have to leave and then still come back and beat like, you know, maybe like a couple hours of it. But I really wish the game was even longer, um, even though it's been it's been a really, really big game overall. Much bigger game than I thought it was going to be. There's actually like a solid amount of boss fights in this game. I'd say like about 20 plus bosses, right? I don't know the total number, but I'd say at least over 20. It's almost the same as Bloodborne. Maybe even bigger. Am I going for 100% on this playthrough? I'm just trying to beat the game. One of the things I did for the playthrough, except for one single moment after getting into the hotel, uh, I told one lie by accident. I was trying to do a full honest playthrough. And then the next one will be a full lie playthrough with this save file on New Game Plus, but... I might do a like a speedrun attempt before I do New Game Plus. I want to try the any percent speedrun and see how that goes. Do you have to lie in this game? You don't have to. You can tell the truth. It just changes the way that the events unfold and what kind of items you get. So apparently for my playthrough, oh, that, that brought me back here. I got a lot worse of items from people by telling the truth. Like you get you get better stuff by lying. And apparently lying makes you more of a human in this game uh, because puppets can't technically lie. So it reaffirms that you're just a puppet. Is this still that door? No. Dude, I'm really lost right now. Where did I go before? Oh, dude, dude, wait, no, I remember, I remember. Don't even tell me, don't even say it. It was the other doorway. I know what it is. Don't laugh at me. Don't be laughing. No damage attempt? Yeah, I might do no damage as well, but I think a speed run would be cool to start off the game. I'm also trying to like keep, if you notice like on YouTube, I'm trying to do a weekly upload on there and then uh, I'll also be, be able to do enough playthroughs for the second channel to have enough stuff where we can upload a lot of the week, if not every single day, until I'm like pretty much out of stuff to do, and then it just goes back to like maybe maybe a couple times a week for the second channel. So I'm really trying to have a lot of stuff. I wonder if I could jump onto here. I probably could. Okay, wait. Let me go back. Let me just go back. Oh, I didn't, I didn't want to go to the hotel. You're allowed to make one or two mistakes on your only truth and lie playthrough and still get the desired ending? Really? Okay, so as long as we're perfect for the rest of it with telling the truth, we're good. Damn it, I didn't want to go back here. I guess I could buy some stuff. No matter what, sir, be welcome. Mm, I, I definitely want more of these. What's going on, Angel? How are you doing? Oh, it says talk to Vanini again. The toy. But how? Oh yeah, the moon, the moon warrior toy. The toy my parents made. Arcalina. 
Or Arle Arlequino. You've met him. Arlequino. Arlequino. We had just watched one of my favorite films, I remember. I begged them to make me the warrior from it. Oh, okay. It's his toy. That's cool. If I had it, would my parents still be alive? So he could have killed Vanini? Is, was that what he was talking about? Untouched by that murderous puppet. He said that the parents I've begged them to not kill myself. the baby, and then he didn't. <laughs> it's a hell of a burden for a child. That kind of guilt. So I hung on. I hung on to the Grand Covenant. I wanted to use it to keep people safe. You know, in many ways, I envy you. Your strength. Thank you for this. Talk about closure. I always welcome... Cool. Grateful. What's going on? Thanks for the good luck, dude. And uh, Angel, I think this game's amazing, dude. It's, it's better than Demon's Souls and Dark Souls 2 at this point. It is in my top five favorite games of all time. Might I have a moment? Ah, go see. And if we're going to continue, like, just count it as part of a series, like, I think it fits into the Souls series pretty well. Like, I don't even, it's it's so good that, I know it's a Souls-like game, but it's better than that title. I think it actually, is, like, I could imagine if, if someone told me Miyazaki, like, was part of the team working on this, like, just giving advice and stuff like that, I could totally see him being involved in this. That, that's how good it is. Just, just with the writing, the way they designed everything, the flow, um, the, some of the authenticity, the the intertwining storylines with the characters are really good. The character writing, some of the voice acting is not amazing, but a lot of it's good at this point. Where I'd be nitpicky to say that it's not good overall, but there's nothing really gameplay wise or even with the boss designs that really bother me at all. It's 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 almost perfect from that standpoint. Uh, like I couldn't even try to imagine the game being better. Um, other than just like really, really small things that don't matter too much at the end. And it's, yeah, it's so polished that like it, it's even less glitchy than some games FromSoft has made right off the bat. So they did a better job with polish than some of the Souls games, um, which I can understand a lot of those were made before this. So it's not like, it, it reminds me of like the level of polish of Sekiro. Um, it, it's, very, it's, it, it's even better in some cases than that too. So I, I'm just really impressed. Okay, wait, so we go up here, and then there's two doorways, I think. Well, wait, there's that, and then there is... Oh, wait, 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 there's this. Is that what I was doing wrong? Wait, I think I came here before, though. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where we're supposed to go. <laughs> I get... Oh, shit. Well, that happened. I get lost in this so much. It's fun to see the Elden Ring speedrun develop speed development. Oh, yeah, the, the category that got down to, like, a minute. <laughs> or, or it was, like... Yeah, it was, like, five minutes, and then I think someone got it in, like, two minutes at some point, right? Yeah, one minute's not real. I thought someone got it in like two and a half minutes. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. There is zipping in this game, so you can get it a bounce and skip whole areas. Oh my god. Yeah, maybe I'll try a glitchless speedrun. I don't know. But we'll see. But yeah, I just like playing it so much that I couldn't, I couldn't imagine not doing a run on it at this point. Especially with like the way the late game is, it actually just it, it keeps getting better. And sometimes what happens for me in certain games, like there's stretches that feel like it flatlines. It doesn't doesn't increase the amount of excitement. It kind of just stays kind of stale. And then you want to get to the next most exciting thing, so you kind of rush through it and you don't take your time in it. I feel like I, I it's really easy to take my time in this and enjoy it, even in the, in the later parts. And that's pretty rare for me with with games like this. There's usually always something that falls short kind of later later on, but this one, it continues to increase in, like, the intrigue and the, the designs and all that. Oh, my God. That Mr. X again. Even enemy design, too. Like, all the, all the movesets of every single enemy are, are super high quality compared to 
what I was thinking they were going to be like. Like those puppets in the beginning. I mean, they're 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 kind of just like broken and and shitty. So it's not they're not like on the level of some of these other enemies. But I was thinking the whole game would just be a bunch of puppets, and it would be like pretty repeated designs and pretty limited move sets. But then it got ridiculous. And there's like a genuine difficulty spike. trying to do here so we we went across the bridge before I think and then I think we went around this way and then that was a shortcut we're we still trying to go down further I'm trying to yeah we're trying to go to the bottom right This goes. Oh no! Wait. This is where we came in. Yeah. No. This is where we came in. So there's a shortcut the whole time to get up to that one part. How many people made this game? I have no idea. I don't know much about the studio. I got to do some research on that. Yeah. So the shortcut was right here. I saw it. I forgot that that's what it was though. Oh, I took the elevator up. Okay. Wait a second. I was thinking, I'm like, we're not supposed to go back up once we go down. Malin, welcome back. How are you doing? I'm back with more hair, Spanky. Yeah, yeah. I'm probably, uh, probably gonna rock this style for a while. I was, I, I was doing like the, the, the almost bald kind of look, like the, the shaved head, and the, I was like, man, honestly, when I think about it, it actually takes more effort to do that because then I have to keep cutting it. So this is just like, you know, very, very small trim once in a while. I was like, I might as well just do that. And it was also more of a challenge originally to like figure out how to like make the make a haircut look decent with when you actually have a decent amount of hair rather than a zero. So when you cut your own hair, I think it's more of a challenge to keep more of it than to like just shave all of it. That's like super simple. Anybody can do that. But it's still pretty time efficient, way easier than doing like fades and stuff like that. Originally, I wanted to do like a uh, locks, but locks are very difficult because they pull on the skin of your head quite a bit. Like they're, they're interwoven so tightly that they can actually cause apparently like headaches and a lot of problems. So I didn't want to have to deal with all that. And then the maintenance is still a little annoying. Um, plus, like it's just really long at a certain point. So it's like <laughs> there's a lot of like things they can get stuck in. I always found like people that have really long hair. It like actually hangs down. If you got your hair stuck in something, that would that would be like the worst. So just as a safety precaution too, it's probably not as uh, viable. I was in the right spot. This is the oh shit. Okay, <laughs> this is the right left. Yes, this is the right one. Biggest problem with this game is some of the animations feel unnecessarily fast for both the enemies and the player. Really, they feel unnecessarily fast. Which ones in particular? Uh, Grandpa, thank you so much for gifting Turtle a sub. I appreciate that. Turtle, enjoy your emotes. Welcome. Okay, now I know how to get back to here. We're good. Just send that back up if I can. Oh, wait, maybe you can't. No, I don't think you can. It probably resets when you die, but... I'm not going back. I am sick of consuming ergo. Did I not talk to this guy before? It's cruel. There's real meals and real songs out there. I'm not just a memory reading tool. This guy's tall. What? Jeez. You're not the inspector? Well, if you're from the outside, that means we can leave. Thanks. I know the way out, so don't worry about me. 
maybe I'll see you on the outside. Got the happy gesture. Nice. I, I can, can go t teach the uh, other robot happy. That's what I was made for. Ergo is crystalline. It's the worst. I can't stand it anymore. So I must. Okay, so if this isn't the area we got to before, I'm going to check and see what's in here, and then I guess we can go back and try to find the other one. This must be past that point, because you guys were saying it's not relevant to kill the black cat. It doesn't matter. I do want his mask, though. I think his mask would be pretty cool. This looks like a boss fighter. Oh, that, this is another shortcut. This is just from the bridge. Ah. So the black cat area was the one to go to. Okay. I feel like the voice acting has gotten better throughout the game too. It 100% did get better. That's that's uh, even Vanini too. Like his accent was a little weird in the, the first time you find him. It kind of fades a little bit and goes into like a completely different accent. Now his accent sounds a lot more Italian towards the end. Um, I would say Sophia's voice acting gets a bit better. Uh, Paul and Dina's accent or, or uh, voice acting has always been good the whole time. Uh, Puccinella has been good the whole time as well. Uh, Eugenie's been good the whole time, in my opinion. I'm trying to think of who else there is. Mm. Geppetto's voice acting, uh, it was a little funny in the beginning. It wasn't the best, but it was okay. Antonio's always better. Or uh, Antonio's has always been pretty good. The Riddle guy was always good, too. There was some funny moments here and there, just with what the writing was like, but... Yeah, Arcolino is good. Or Ar Arlecchino, sir. Al Alidorio... Or Alidoro is, uh... Decent the whole time, in my opinion. Like, most of them are good. But this is also... It's like holding it to a standard that's like AAA games, right? Versus... If it was like an indie game, it wouldn't matter. I mean, just for reference, there was someone I know that works for an indie game studio, or he was doing a lot of stuff for them. Like, they contracted him to help with, uh, just testing quality assurance and stuff like that. And he put a word in for me for a game that was coming out to see if I could do some voice acting for it, and they were considering me, and, like, I don't have a portfolio of doing game voice acting in a game at all. So it's like, uh, I, th th that game's still to be released, like, we don't know when it's gonna come out. I can't really t talk about it either, but, um... Like, if they actually ended up considering it or even said yes, that's pretty wild because I don't do voice acting in games. I, I have some amateur stuff for just the cartoons that you see from Matthew Shesman and my own stuff. That's pretty much it. So if they're considering people that don't have, like, actual careers that are, are pre-existing, like, I could see them kind of starting off a little bit stumbly and then getting better. But I don't know. Maybe they hired a lot of really good voice actors. They have the, the one from Margit. I know that. Uh, so the voice of Margit is um, one of the characters. Who, who is it again? Use the elevator to go up. Sound naturally gifted voice-wise. Well, so when I say voice acting, I don't I don't mean like speaking um, spoken voice. I've only done one role that's like very short with my spoken voice. Most stuff is actually changing your voice, right? So voice acting to me. Eh. It's not that it doesn't count using your regular voice, but most people aren't tasked with using their bass voice at all. Oh yeah, that's the, the down one. <laughs> Only goes down. Rip. I love spinning around in this game. Didn't know that guy respawns. Oh, Geppetto. Geppetto is Margaret, yeah. Okay. Voice, act voice acting is not about having a beautiful voice, it's about acting well through the voice. Yeah, exactly. So it's about personifying the character. And that that's uh, difficult to do when you can't actually even be seen, because you have to make it seem like it's a real thing, right? So if you've, if you've seen some behind the scenes on certain voice acting jobs, and people that do cartoons especially, they can do some sounds and like make it seem like they're actually in the situation. But as that person... Whereas, just being able to read a line in a certain voice isn't really enough sometimes. But I do know that with games, like so they do try out some people that don't do a lot of voice acting just based on information I've I've read about, so, okay. Or just what I've heard 
from other people that work with uh, with games. There's actually even someone else that came in here and they're asking me to uh, to do something for a game that was like an indie one when it finished. I'm not sure if that will work out, but yeah, it's like if people do that kind of stuff, that's pretty impressive. So I, if I have to go back up, then where are we going here? Was there a doorway I missed? It must be somewhere where you exit around the outside of here. Oh, you have to keep going up. Oh my god. I can't believe I lived. I thought the way to get to where we were was down. So we went down and then we went back up after our Lakina. And then we went around here, went across the bridge, then went straight. I remember this. Oh boy. That's the elevator again, though. So we don't want that. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Hey, guys. go up those stairs. These stairs. So we don't want to go across the bridge. We want to just, from where we were, just go up the stairs. I see. Perfect. Oh, okay. I see. Yay. Me versus the map. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest the boss story. in the game for me, man. Uh, Omar United, thank you so much for the five months. Welcome back. What are you doing? Also, how have you been as well? Oh, that would have been amazing. Stay alive. Even if it means fighting dirty, that's the sweeper's way. Mask. Nice. As soon as I saw the black hat mask, I wanted it originally. I don't. I don't know if it really fits this this set though. I think I might have to change some of the other stuff going on here. It definitely goes with this set. I think that's the set he wears, right? The monster sweeping. Kind of goes with the weasel as well. Could be either. Oh, he has his own set. It's not the monster sweeping one. Okay. Yeah, I really like this one too. Also, kind of, even though the color, the color of the Fulmini is like super, super weird. It's like turquoise. So it, it goes a little bit more with that than the other one does. How's the playthrough going, Strange Being? It's going good. We're actually at the end of the game. So I'm, I'm trying to find my way through this last area in chapter 11. How are you doing? I haven't seen anyone use this weapon before. It's so good. Carton, yeah, the uh, live puppet axe with the bramble curve sword handle. Crazy. And also when people ask about the handle as you get to rhyme, you get to spit some hot bars. A bramble curve sword handle. You can't even imagine I'm so slick like Randall. Toy Story, invisible. I'm killing you so much it's divisible. One plus one equals two. I'm gonna hit you so hard you turn to glue on the wall like paste. What a disgrace Elmer's can't even see your face, bro. Barbarous King, thank you for the raid, yo. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you for the good luck, dude. Sorry. I was going off a little bit. <laughs> Man, this game is so good. I hope you have been enjoying it as well. I think I saw you... I don't know if it was 100%, but I thought I saw you playing it 
in your title the one time. I'm getting to it a little bit later. I took a break from streaming for about a month, so we're back as of... Uh, I guess it's been like 10 or 11 days now. So, are you going to TwitchCon, by the way, dude? I was going to ask you that. Thank you so much for, for hosting me. If you guys don't know Barb, I'm going to give him a shout-out. He is one of my personal favorite streamers that I actually still watch. I don't really watch a lot of Twitch, but I do watch him. He does a lot of really crazy stuff. He plays he plays a bunch of different games. I usually call him a Mario Maker streamer because he did play Mario Maker a lot when I had followed him and made a lot of really impressive levels and also did a lot of ROM hacks where people made the game even harder. You have to use all these like crazy speedrun techniques and tricks and everything. I even tried doing it myself just for fun off stream and it's really, really hard. So you want to see someone that has like probably a higher level of skill than I have on Dark Souls on other games, but then also still plays a lot of Dark Souls stuff. Uh, and, you know, pretty much anything you can think of. Follow Barb. Plays hard games, makes dumb jokes. There you go. That's the, that's the exact description. You worked on a level for one hour on Mario Maker 2 today and didn't save it? Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, that now I don't feel as bad because I've been running through the map and then getting lost and going in circles because I'm just reading chat too much. So that, that that makes me feel a lot better. Thank God, dude. You missed 44 minutes because you didn't notice I was live. Zeus just beat the game semantic. Oh, nice, dude. Did, did he start it late too? Why is that ladder even there? I'm so confused. What's, what's the point of that? We're going to have to drop back down. But yeah, anyways, hopefully, hopefully you guys are having a good day. I do a lot of Dark Souls content in general, so pretty much everything. Demon Souls, Sekiro, Bloodborne, Souls Trilogy. Uh, we're actually going to be doing a run of all seven games by Christmas. That's a speed run that has glitches on it. Every single game back-to-back -back in under 12 hours is the goal. My original best time, just kind of screwing around without glitches, was 14 hours for six games before Elden Ring came out. And I'm also going to be working on a level one hitless run of Elden Ring. Possibly also all remembrances if I get the any percent pretty quickly. And then we're finishing this. We're going to do some speed runs on this. I still have to finish Lords of the Fallen as well. Um, probably will be finished the first week I get back after TwitchCon, so next week. But I do a lot of stuff like that. Um, and yeah, enjoyed Armored Core recently too. So like play a lot of other games, but mostly Souls related games. There's an item here. I have a challenge for Barb's channel too. If you actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna challenge you to something. This is like a small favor to ask, because I already have you here. So if you enjoy what you see here today, or you already know my channel and you're just back here again, there, I have a main YouTube channel that makes original content, like scripted videos, narrated videos, tier list breakdowns, a bunch of different stuff covering Souls games, but then also runs. But I just made a new channel that has all the stuff from the stream in long format. So if you would like to see full first playthroughs of things, that is the place to go to, but I'm trying to get to a thousand subs to get it partnered. So if you can go and click that link and ju and just drop a sub, it, you can unsub in the future. But if you, if I can convince you to do that and you like it enough and you want to stay, that's amazing. If you if you give me a sub on the new channel, because um, yeah, everything that's here will be uploaded there that will not make it onto the main channel in full, unedited. So if that sounds appealing, go do that, and I will love you forever. I'll still love you pretty long, for quite a long time if you don't do it, but not as long though. It'll expire. I'll definitely love you more than the tentacle man here though, either way. Actually, you know what? I'll do I'll, I'll do you one better. Guys, if we get the if we get the YouTube right now, or in the in the next within the stream. If we get it to 250 subs within the stream, 250, I will play Mario Maker on stream. Or, not, no, sorry, I'll do you one better. I'll play a Kaizo. I'll play a Kaizo ROM hack on stream. Not even Mario Maker. I will play a ROM hack. Maybe not the hardest one, but I'll actually do it, though. And I won't just play it. I'll, I'll try to beat it. I'll try my absolute best. I'll actually put a good effort into it. Then, it, then it's at least worth worth your while, right? <laughs> Already over a hundred. All right. Tell a friend, dude. <laughs> right now, my armored core playthrough is uploading, so like the first part's on there. There's seven parts. It'll be an upload every single day until it's there, and then there's a convergence playthrough of Elden Ring. There's gonna be this playthrough. 
uh, Lords of the Fallen, a bunch of other challenge runs I've done earlier as well in the last few months. And then anything you see that comes out that's newer in full will be on there. I'll probably do, be doing a full playthrough of Mortal Kombat 1 as well uh, in, the, in the next couple weeks because I have that game. And I haven't actually played through it, so the story mode of that. All right. That, uh, the crawlers almost got me there. Twitch sub or YouTube sub? Oh, Brannigan, not, no, not subbing on here. The Subbing to the, the new YouTube channel. So I have a main channel that has a bunch of edited content on it. Um, some original videos and then some edited versions of challenge runs and speed runs. But the second channel has all the long form content. So everything that you would see as a first playthrough or the long version of all the edited stuff. So kind of like a VOD archive, if, if that makes sense. So if that sounds appealing, then yeah, if we get if we can get 250 subs today, I will play a Mario Kaizo run. And I'll do it before the end of the year. I'll do it within like November will be the, the goal. And then you guys can come laugh at me. And I'll probably put it on there too, so you'll be able to see it. <laughs> just if, if I do a Kaizo, just recommend one that's like a beginner one so I don't get my ass kicked too hard. Because I would love to do more of those. I've always wanted to be good at that stuff. I like um, the Metroidvania games quite a bit. And I do like Mario also. I have played quite a bit of Mario. Where does this game rank compared to the other Souls games? So I like this game better than Dark Souls 2. And it's, it's not... Okay, the atmosphere, it's really hard to weigh it against Demon Souls because Demon Souls has a really unique atmosphere but I like the gameplay much better than Demon Souls like it blows Demon Souls out of the water for gameplay boss design blows Demon Souls out of the water storyline uh I'd say it's like it's a bit better than, than Demon Souls as well and Dark Souls 2 but that's me and then like I think Dark Souls 3 1 Sekiro and Elden Ring are above it just just by a little bit but I, I really do enjoy this game like, it's only gotten better. Yeah, I'm not even done it either. Like, it, it got to the point where it kind of convinced me it was a solid 9 out of 10 about halfway through. Alright, we're going to see if we can kill this guy. It's about to break! Uh. Also, if you guys are familiar with this game too, the build that I'm using is motivity based, so it's like a strength build. Uh, and then I have the full mini arm, like the electroshock one. It's uh, fully upgraded, and then I got the live puppet axe plus 10 on the bramble curve sword handle, patience amulet, life amulet, carriers. Uh, I'm just under the slightly heavy mark, so I'm like 58% equip load, and I haven't respect the character at all yet. I was planning to do that and do a completely different setup for New Game Plus. So that is what we're doing. We're level 68 right now. Balance build is the best. Really? So like you th you think that if, if I respect this and I play on New Game Plus with a completely different setup, I pick balance, it's gonna be much easier. Like significantly better than this. Or is it just your favorite? Are you a fanboy? Cause I've been I've been having a lot of people come in here and ask how I'm doing so much damage and how I even did some of the stuff that I did with the weapon. And not even this weapon either. I was also using Frozen Feasts. This one, as you hit the enemies, it becomes faster, it sheds the exterior on it, it becomes lighter. It's also really strong, too. But then it has an ability with just Y, the Y button, where it sheds everything all at once and becomes super fast. What's the handle on the Puppet Axe? It was the Bramble Curve Sword. Okay. Uh, I think we need to take that ladder. Dude, this is getting scary. Play this game on a a tech. What is that? T E C. M O T and a 
advanced build. MOT was the best for bosses, but it needs a bit of learning and punishable. Of the punishable windows, yeah. Wait, no, I was, was I up here? No, I wasn't. Oh, shortcut. The weapons are all unique and you love it so much. I, I'm super surprised with how hard they went on the weapons. Like they they pulled through a lot with all the variety. There's there's a lot of different ones. It's not like the variety of like a you know a Dark Souls game, but it, the, every single one is particular, and all the effects of the handles and the different combinations make up for the lack of maybe like gigantic variety and all the copy and pastes. Also, again, just the animations and stuff. Dude. I can't wait to do a review of this game. So what I'm going to do for the main YouTube channel when this is done, I'm going to compare it against Lords of the Fallen and then give the uh, the final verdict of do they hold up against Souls games that FromSoft have made and just do like a breakdown of all the features that are different in each one, what they've improved upon with uh, Dark Souls games and you know Sekiro, all that stuff, what they borrowed from them and what I'd rank them out of 10 out of all of them. So that's going to be a big discussion video. Uh, once I'm done both of them. So when Lord, Lords of the Fallen is done, you're going to see that. I'm going to start writing it before I finish it. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to do that video. That'll be probably one of the coolest things because I've also really enjoyed Lords of the Fallen. I've only played two hours of it. It's been really good. Whee! No. Okay, I don't like that guy. That guy is really, really annoying. I'm gonna go back to this again. Gotta be careful. Ooh, there's a chest. Oh, I don't wanna get... Dude, no! <sighs> I got the shortcut. There's more P organs on New Game Plus as well. Oh yeah, that's... That's something somebody else was saying too. Forgot about that. Is there any other features on New Game Plus that extend the game even further, like beyond just what you'd see in the, the first playthrough. Like new enemies or like new new engagements, storyline stuff. More records to collect? Okay. What's going on, Cat? How are you doing? On super early? Yeah, I gotta go a little bit later. Or sorry, earlier than normal, that's what I should say. <laughs> So I'm trying to get this done before around six o'clock. How are you doing today? NG Plus has the new P organ abilities. And then new records as well, new new amulets. Are they like strengthened versions of the regular amulets? Or are they all new? You can see what puppets say during boss fights? That's pretty cool. Oh, like the actual dialogue is shown. That's cool. That's a really good feature. Apparently, okay, so people were saying if you squint, if you look at that dialogue, the subtitles, when you, you see the puppet mumbo jumbo or whatever, you can actually still read it. Dude, I almost got it. No. <laughs> Like, I, I couldn't do it. I remember on King of Puppets, I died for, like, hours, and I, I couldn't tell a single time. I tried to squint and, and read it. If you squint, you die faster. <laughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't have just ran and tried to get that. Wait, is this a different place? Oh, this is the other side. See, I don't normally run from the enemies. Even on death, I'll like kill them again and again and again. But I really do want to kind of figure out where we're going here. Or just die. Yeah, that's fine. Romeo has a surprise in New Game Plus. Oh, yeah? That's interesting. In the end of the game, it does actually give you a lot of, like, 
backstory that comes behind, like before you even started the, the playthrough. That's really cool, especially in this level too. I was making some predictions on the backstory from those like little uh, flashback moments when you're in the uh, the little desert before the abbey. Also, I'm pretty sure we figured out that Vanini was going to be murdered by Arcolino, but then he decided, or sorry, Ar I call, call him Arcolino. Arlecchino was going to murder Vanini, but then the parents begged him not to, so he didn't, but he killed his parents. And he gave us a toy that was from his childhood, and then we gave it back to him. That was pretty cool. Oh my god. There's a literal army. Okay, I think I was on the other side of here. That's a lot. Dude, stop it. <laughs> he got dizzy for a second. Dude, his foot's up on the ledge. He's popping a squat there. It's a great combo. It's so good. <laughs> Saw nothing. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, not that guy again. Not that guy again. I don't like that guy. Haha. <laughs> he tried to get me. I don't like that guy at all, dude. That's a really, really bad one. Oh, now we're in this corridor. Oh, okay. A little shortcut, maybe? It's progression. Oh, <gasps> cutscene. Oh, just, okay. Dude. Not even close, dude. I'm healing, I'm healing. I'm healing. So I had this, I had NPCs kill this guy the first time I saw him. And it was just like an accident. That's just ridiculous. Why are you so strong? run away. Oh, that's stagger. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 I feel it. I feel the heal. I feel the heal coming back. I feel some level of control over this fight. Okay. I feel the comeback, guys. I feel the comeback. Oh, all right, we got him. You thought I was going to die. See, that's why the stream is pretty cool. Sometimes I don't die. Everyone's just waiting to, to see me die, but I don't. But I usually die. So. <laughs> My hands are actually sweating a lot from that. That was crazy. I don't get like the fast heart rate or anything when I play these kinds of games, but my hands sweat so much. Like it makes it makes a soup in my in my, on my controller. It's crazy. L literally had all the other normal enemies gank up on the gesture and kill him. In this area, or was it the first area when you were in the uh, what's it called the arcade? Oh, on this area that happened. That's crazy. I didn't know that could happen with this one. He could be a boss himself. That guy's scary. Him and the... Uh, I don't even know what it would be, but like, there's like the guy in... It's in the swamp area. That does like the, the, the dive bombs with his head. He's like a wind-up toy or something like that. That was a pretty scary one, too. I feel like you almost have to fight all the enemies in this area to properly do this. Okay. Oh, th there he is! Dude, I said it and he appeared. No. No. How did I make him pop up like that? Oh my god. Why'd that happen? Okay, I'm gonna help this guy. No! Yeah. yeah! Running, 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 running. Running. Ah! 
Oh, so scary. Okay, wait. Charge attack around the corner. No, dude. Why is he not staggered? Why are you not staggered? Stagger, dude. Stagger. You have to. You have to. You're breaking the rules, dude. Okay, help me, buddy. Help me. I got you. I got you. I'm going to walk up with the full meanie. He's almost dead. Boom. Okay, get him. Hit him with the two-piece. You whip him with the tentacles. I'm just going to come around there. Yes. Quartz. Okay, we're good. Jeez, that was scary. All these situations. Little guy came through on that one. Uh, Mr. Show, thank you so much for the 25 months. Welcome back, dude. <laughs> it's going pretty good. How are you? We're trying to beat this game. We're in the, the final stretch, the last chapter, I believe. I can't believe we killed him and the Jester on the same go. That's crazy. There's still the chest to grab. Yeah, there is that chest back there. Uh, do I wait to die, though, or do I just... I think I, I think I should wait to die and then go back and get it. Mule, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your motes. Use this same weapon combo. It's so strong. Ustar, do you know if there's a better one than this? Like, a better handle to put with the, uh, the Puppet Axe? Because I was trying to check and see, and it didn't seem like there was a better ability that you could combine with it. Because the, the Furious Slash is... It's almost like a cheat code for a big weapon, because you can use it way quicker than normal. I don't know if there's a scaling decrease on the weapon's damage when you do it, but it, do it doesn't seem like it, though. It hits really hard still. Oh my god. No, 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 not, not the... Oh! Projectiles! <gasps> no! 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 Yo! Yo! Get out of there, dude. Got out of stagger. He just got out of stagger. Oh man, this is this is getting scary. Okay. I wish I was actually pretending right now. I'm I'm freaking out. This is like a horror game. This area is pretty brutal. There's been whole boss fights that are not as hard as this. magazine. It's got to farm some heals now. The fact they let you do that is so cool because it kind of it balances out the fact that you have to put a lot of quartz into your uh, pulse charges to get them increased and also to get the capacity of healing higher too. So at the beginning of the game, middle part of the game, the fact you can actually regen the heal is insane. But then it still makes it harder than just your health getting regened like rally, right? Because then you still have to find a timing to use it. It makes you play so so sketchy. You're just like on the wire. Don't be embarrassed to run. I, I think that it's actually going to be more dangerous to run away. That's the thing with this game that I kind of like. It almost like incentivizes you killing a lot of enemies and not running away the first time you see them. Because like even if you know what they do, that was kind of rude. Even if you know what they do, it doesn't help that much sometimes. Some of them are just so scary that they'll they'll kill you even if you know what they do. <laughs> And I don't know how that changes if the character is much lighter, like if he's under 30% equip load, but with the weight that I'm at right now, it's really hard to escape sometimes. Oh, damn it. Forgot about that. I was trying to roll away. Scanning the area now. This is officially a hitless run. Oh, it's another one of these guys. Okay, wait. Um, 
just in case. Oh wait, I have the, the thing to be detected less often, the cat does. That's probably why they give it to you in this area. I said I wasn't really gonna intentionally use that, but now that I wanna survive, it might make sense. Nice fashion, Corey, I appreciate that, thank you. I was wearing the Jester set with the white mask for a while, and now we got the black cat helmet, which I think is my favorite so far. So I put back on the other robes to match it. No! You knew, but you had to watch. God damn it. Yeah, I got the short, thank God I got the shortcut. It was worth it. It wasn't in vain, it was good. That scared me though. I hate those guys, those guys that shoot the, those guns, like even when you've seen them before. I don't know if it's just me, I forget that they shoot so many bullets, so I'll run towards them after they've shot like two, two whole rounds. That comboed me already, and then like they go again, and it, it's terrible. I want to get revenge on this guy. I'm going to throw a shot put at his head. Wait. I don't think I put it on, did I? Oh, extra bag. No, that's not the button for extra bag. What's the extra bag button? I can't remember. It's not X. What do you, what do, you do? It's A. Oh, it's A. Shit. I didn't know that was going to... You just push the thing and it works like that. There we go. I haven't used that before. X on PS5. Yeah, usually when people say X, even though I'm using the controller for Xbox, I, I kind of just refer to PlayStation button still. <laughs> but I actually, it's funny, I actually pushed the X button the first time. He's healing. Of course they do a butterfly right here. I'll get both of them, I don't care. Imagine not making that jump. Okay, a big plunge. Oh, I didn't get it. We mentioned the music actually being pretty cool in this game both in the different areas bosses and the records i agree with that the music is amazing like it, it beats a lot of the soul soundtrack for me bloodborne is still like up there bloodborne's number one for me for the music still and then skyrim is my favorite game ost just because i feel like it fits a lot of situations if i listen to it it can be listened to in a lot of scenarios jeremy soul is also just like a great composer so he's hard to beat he's got a lot of experience but they did a great job with this. Like, I, I can actually say that the soundtrack will be memorable and nostalgic in the future. 
Off the side, dude. Off the side. Oh, man, I was distracted by the body. Dude, it's not fair. <laughs> I love doing that. And it, it combos into the, uh, the Charge R2 gets a stagger immediately on a lot of enemies if you do a full charge on the full mini. So if anyone hasn't used that Legion Arm, it's it's worth it just to get the stagger on the bigger enemies. It's literally saved me in some situations. It's really hard to time, though. Hmm, where do we go? This will go down. Haven't seen a game that beat the Abyss Watchers theme yet. That's a very good one. And Dark Souls 3, for the most part, there's not a single track on it that I dislike. It's just uh, Bloodborne soundtrack has this vibe to it that's perfectly fitting the game. And it it makes the game like what it is almost, especially like the intro to it. And the, the Cleric Beast theme specifically. I remember when I heard that the first time, I was like, this is amazing. The way they recorded, it's also a bit different. They did a live orchestra or a live choir. Okay, chances of dying on here. Oh, I see a shooter. I see a shooter, dude. Of course they put this guy here. I really hope on a hitless run I don't need to actually get this box or speed run or something like that. That's quartz. Oh, maybe I would. <laughs> I was going to assume that it turned them off, but just in case, you never know. One thing, too, for anyone that, like, wasn't part of the discussions I've been having while I've been playing this, the, the traps they set up for you, the ambushes in some of the scenarios are so perfect that they've outdone a lot of games in general that I've ever seen where there's, like, sneaky moments where you think that you, you, you kind of are one step ahead. You're like, oh, I see that this guy's behind a wall, so you try to kill him. And then there's another guy that pops up, and you're like, okay, that's pretty typical. But then something else happens altogether that you couldn't expect. At the same time as two other things going on, and what you assumed was like an actual ambush, it goes like above, above the the standard of what what I was thinking, right? Even the way the environment, the way they place everything, it's so intelligent. There's like multiple different ways to get memed on that are like almost too specific, especially that area that's like Resident Evil, um, the uh, Resident Evil Four area with like the wooden structures and it's all suspended and there's the cave system and everything. Literally sense fortress. Okay. Who's that guy? Why is that guy? He took a break. This doesn't cure shock. This one does. <laughs> Kool Aid Man. <laughs> Bust through the wall. So impressive that this is their first try to Souls. Like, yeah, they did their research 100%. There's a lot of homework done. You can definitely tell. Some of the things in the environment, too, I've noticed, like, for example, that one area where the, the ballista's shooting in the swamp and there's the trees, like, the way that it blew up the tree was pretty cool. Not that it needed to do that, but it, like, fell over, but it also, like, parts of it came off as it fell over. And I didn't even notice they went to that extent where some of the destructible things look good. And that's not even really, like, a selling point of this or anything. Not spoiling, but the very last cutscene gets me you excited for future projects. Future projects, DLC, or a new game? I would hope so. I'd hope they'd make DLC for this and also a new game. 
Is there a playlist on Spotify with the original soundtracks from all the FromSoft games? Uh, not that I've seen, but one person I can recommend that remixes them and they, he makes like really, really good versions of them would be Alex Rowe, if you've never heard of him on Spotify. But I've never seen one with the original soundtracks. DLC was confirmed? Oh, okay. That was pretty quick then. Best boss in the game right here. Let's hope so. I'm going to level up for sure. It's like 9,000 to level up now? Whoa, okay, wait. Uh, let's pop another Ergo then. I don't know if that's enough. I might have to do another one. 10,100. Okay, I'll use a 700 and then a 500. Hmm, I'm trying to think of what I want to do. I think I'm going to do capacity just to have the defense. And then we can change some stuff around because we have 55%, so I should be able to do uh, one of the better setups here. 3.9, no wait, that's not good. This one's already the heavy one, right? Well, 11.7. 3.29. Okay, I don't know if that's worth it. Oh yeah, this one's 26, 37. Yeah, that's better. So we'll do that and then switch this back to the other one. And then that right there is pretty good already. Hmm. All right. I'm, an, I'm a hoarder of Ergo too, yeah. Uh, that's why I think a lot of people are a higher level than me for most of the playthrough, just because I've been asking people and I've usually been five to 10 levels behind. I, I save all of them and I use them for emergency or for the late game. Welcome back, sir. Really good to see you again. Fortunate, thank you so much for the 52 months. Good to see you as well, man. Welcome back, how are you? Lax Laxasia the Complete. Is this the lady that people were talking about? the complete <laughs> that was pretty crazy <laughs> it's like i'm going to attack you attack you attack you attack you attack you <laughs> infinity combos i'm okay with that just like what was the timing on that that was that was like a, a very confusing attack oh yeah of course that blows up of course that blows up Oh, and then that's a slash right before. Oh. Okay. Let's go. 
God will awaken soon. Combo goes on forever, yeah. Is this a FromSoft game, Shadow? No, this isn't made by FromSoft. I, I believe that it was, though, if no one told me. Legit, like I, <laughs> I would, I would 100% believe. I would, maybe, maybe I wouldn't say that they made it completely, but they definitely had some part in it. Uh, Duplis, thank you so much for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy your modes. Welcome. What's my score on this game, Ali? It's a nine out of ten for me. It's it's above Demon Souls and Dark Souls too, easily. And I know that's gonna that's gonna create some drama, but that's uh it's the truth. Wait, I don't have. Oh. Okay, maybe we shouldn't worry about those yet. Let's just learn the situation here. There's a kick. That one's a little later. This one's a little funny too. That's an easy opportunity to hit right there though. That goes into something I can't parry. Grab. Okay. Yeah, kick and then that. One, two. Oh, that can still happen. Okay. Interesting. Yep. I gotta go sideways on that. That was right. Almost got that one. I think that's gonna be my biggest combo to like focus on right now just to be able to get a stagger guaranteed i think with that full thing parried plus maybe a couple extra attacks i could have this the parry or the uh sorry the stagger so it's like one and it's like one two three four and then it's like a really slow one then it speeds up a bit the second time this is your second favorite below Sekiro, yeah favorite boss until now uh, King of Puppets is still my favorite right now, but I really like Champion Victor and the Swamp Beast, as well as uh, what was the other one I said I liked as well? I'm trying to remember. The shield just kind of rebounds. Okay, there we go. Oh, God will awaken some progress. Corrupted Prayed Master. I don't know if, know if I've seen that before. Did I? I'm trying to remember exactly what. Well, there's a lot of bosses I like, but I'm trying to think. There's one in between this one and the swamp that I liked a lot, too. I, I can't remember. Maybe I'm just misremembering. I don't know. I think there was another really good one. It wasn't the rabbits. No, it was another one. It was, it was, it was, um, no, it was between the swamp and, and, so the swamp's after Puppet Master. No, it wasn't Door Guardian. Okay, maybe there wasn't one then. Never mind. I thought there was another one. And Victor is before the, the swamp. First tried corrupted, corrupted puppet master. Walker or illusion? Walker of illusions. Ah, uh, that one was pretty easy. It was okay. I guess I'd have to probably play more of it. I like St. Andrews as well. For sure. Worship 
Damn. Corrupted Prey Master's right after the beasts. The beasts. Who's be who's beasts? What is that? What's my deadlift PR? Uh Angler, I don't deadlift, man. Um so I don't know. <laughs> it's a good question. Although I know there's some people in chat that do. There's some people talking about some pretty impressive ones lately. Yeah, I don't do PRs for things. I don't do like the one rep maxes. So I mean, I guess my PR would be like, um, you know, like a higher rep scheme for things. Probably 80% uh, one rep max mostly at the, the, at the highest uh, in mode. Surprised you don't deadlift. Uh, I can explain why. But give me a second. Like I have before, I just don't right now. I probably won't again. Nice. Hit him with another stagger. Yep, another one. Just gonna go down. And then get one of these. So the, the double, the back to back charge attack right there is really good. Hit with another one right there. And then one, two, three, one, two. That's fine. That's half that, that fight right there. Only one heal use so far. Not bad. That spin is really difficult so far for me. It's a very tricky one. Nice. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, so for me, like deadlift, uh, it, it's it's too much uh, central nervous system fatigue for my goals, unfortunately. Don't want to destroy yourself for one lift. Yeah, it's it's not really that. No, it's it's just like so. There's three different levels of fatigue. There's um, systemic from central nervous system. There's uh, like muscle fascia, and then there's like the actual tendons. So, or I guess you could say muscle tissue and tendons. So uh, the the thing that happens when you do too much stuff with fatigue for nervous system in, in, a, in a frequent nature throughout the week is that you're actually at a lower capacity for energy output in your nervous system uh, for the next thing you do. So it does seem like you can make progress, but then you'll realize you can't really PR as much unless you program around powerlifting style uh, training and not doing hypertrophy or like the accessories as much and the, uh, you know, the other types of, of lifting you could do. So if you, so trying to do it all would be really hard. And then also um, there's a higher risk of injury for me with what all the other stuff I do. So it actually takes away from my goals if I do deadlifts, unfortunately. And I also don't care about the lift itself. Like it's not that exciting for me. I have done them before though. Yeah, if I programmed for it, I'd have to do a very different program for sure. Ooh. Okay, ooh, that was nice. That wasn't bad. Stagger here. Almost. Here we go. Heal here, fire braces, charge R2 again. Beautiful. Nice.
nice. Okay, let's see. You're using the consumable fire bracelet, by the way. Oh yeah, I know, I know that. I just didn't choose, uh, change it yet. Strongest on deadlifts was deadlifting four to seven days a week, heavy but extreme low volume. Yeah, that makes sense. That definitely makes sense. Like just focusing on that. That's amazing though, 550 uh, belless. That's crazy, dude. Oh. That's like that's actual powerlifting meet numbers. Like if you're a real powerlifter. Oh no, she's getting naked. How do you parry while having guard on? By the way. Uh, what do you mean by that? How do you parry while having guard on? Oh, you mean like an ability of some sort? This character really reminds me of Valdo from Soul Calibur. Considered voice acting in games? Oh, I'd love to. That's a really crazy looking sword, I'll be honest. Okay. He might need some sunlight, though. I think we just need to introduce the sun and the sunburn will kill her. It's a pretty easy turn of events there. Oh, this is one of those fights. This is a projectile fight. Oh, yeah, and then finish it off with that. Sure, nice intro. Cool, every single time we have to do that? Jesus, man. Electric shock already? No oh, thanks. What's with the range on this? This is getting wild. Jesus Christ, man, this is insane. Ooh. <laughs> will awaken soon. Crazy. And then if there's another part after that, then I'm calling bananas, man. That's bananas. Should take one hit. Now she's wearing no armor, right? Pro that would be would make sense if like the logic was normal. But I feel like with the, the, the skin shade, like the gray skin, you're probably already not alive or like normal. If you see anyone with gray skin, just rule of thumb, they might not be able to be killed by one hit by a giant blade. They might live still. Phase four. There's a, there's a phase four? What does that even mean? Phase four. Gotta get better at that. Super slow too. It's a lot of extra attacks here. Oh, nice. This thing could be like Silent Hill, dude. I feel like they have inspiration from horror games for sure. It's gotta be. Like the suit is just very like... Kojima kind of stuff, I don't know. It's like Japanese. We're getting there. <laughs> Sermonic. 
Still gotta get a little bit better. What handle? Am I using the Bramble Curve Sword handle? Don't think she fits in this world though. Like, what is the Pinocchio inspiration? Feels kind of out of place. I don't think the game has to like completely follow Pinocchio. I think that's just like the the backdrop of it. It's like the foundation, but they're definitely like adding extra things. And there's ton there's tons of characters that are not represented accurately from Pinocchio in the game, from what we've been talking about. Okay, I'm gonna put the Legion magazines on just in case, and then. Or maybe throwable items, the shop puts. Let's do those. I bought a lot of those, I think. Uh, and then... I don't know if Acid Abrasive would be a good idea for this fight, too. Hmm. I think we're, we're definitely good enough to do it. The damage is looking good. Everything's looking good. Just gotta learn it. <laughs> Tonight we can update the URL for the second channel. You passed 100 subs. Nice. That's awesome. Thank you so much, guys, for subbing to the uh, the second YouTube channel. And again, if you guys like to see the older kind of content where it's the full playthroughs of things, full versions of runs that would be normally edited down to less time now, they're, they're going to be on there. If I do a Hitless run, for example, or something really cool, though, I'll probably put this, this, the full video still on the main channel. But if it's something really long that's like another type of challenge, um, it, it most likely will be on there. Yeah, but yeah, thank you for subbing to it so far, guys. There's going to be a lot of stuff on there. There's already a lot of stuff uploaded, it's just not actually live. And then there's someone that actually did me a crazy big favor of having all my older content, a bunch of runs you guys have never seen before, most likely, from like years and years ago. There's like... Probably over a hundred of them, or some crazy amount, so I can upload all that stuff too, over time. I can basically have enough stuff to do daily uploads for like months. Um, until there's, you know, no more stuff to do that with. That was much better, that was almost the full game. I haven't seen that one with that many before. That was like a really weird thing she went into. Is that normal? Is that a modified version of like the overhead thing? I don't think I've seen that one. Why'd you get back up? No, too much damage. Get out of here. Gotta be a stagger now. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it! I could feel it in my bones. Can she relax? Yeah, this is insane. I really like the first phase on this one. Sometimes they underdo the first phase. This one goes in pretty hard, like just as a boss by itself. Phase one alone, which is nice. Second one, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm just lost with that. 
That's a loss for this kind of situation. A little bit of time to buff in the beginning. I think I gotta get closer. Yeah, I don't know. Can I heal? Do I have enough time? This one's gonna be a lot of like not actually attacking, but just parrying. Just parrying, dude. You can parry the orbs. Oh, ooh, that's cool. Yeah, deflecting the electric shocks. That's that's smart because that builds that that will contribute towards the stagger, right? Someone modded Millennia into Sekiro, and the fight fits perfectly. It looked really sick. I didn't see that. That's amazing. This is a good game, Chaewon. This is a great game, dude. I love it. Highly recommend it. You could cancel. I wish there was a canceling ability with ports that you could get. Someone's gonna tell me there is. The like, actually, streamer, there is. Is this new game plus? No, this is the first playthrough. Do I recommend Liza P adversely? A hundred percent, dude. Biggest recommendation I can possibly make for a game since Elden Ring. Hasn't been a single game I played since Elden Ring that's been this good. There's been a lot of really good games. There's been um, quite a few I haven't even streamed, but like the only game before this that was really cool was Armored Core, but this like blows that out of the water. Also, because I'm more biased towards this genre. I like this genre the most. And then Lords of the Fallen's looking really good too, but this still looks a bit better so far. I just don't know because I haven't played enough Lords of the Fallen yet, but I like both of them. This is my game of the year so far. I'm the goat of this genre. I appreciate that. Thank you. Man. Glad you enjoy what we do. Okay, here we go. So if she does that, like I'm, I'm set. That's like probably the easiest thing right now to, to reference here. I'll take a good, good third of the health there every time it happens. I got lucky on that. She got overheat as well. The overheat's really good. Oh, she didn't continue it. Okay, that's that was kind of rare. I haven't seen that one for a while. Hits behind, you know, dodge. Follow it up, I dare you to. I dare you to follow it up again. Do it. Do it. You won't. You won't. No balls. Literally. That was actually kind of a mean joke. Maybe she wanted balls. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Okay, we can parry the lightning, apparently. Let's do that. So that, I don't know if that works. That didn't seem like it did anything. Martian, 
dude. They can bounce back and hit her their red when they bounce back. Oh, so I gotta go a little later. Oh no, she took damage, so I did I did it, okay. But you still get do you still get the shock buildup? How many tries for this boss so far? I think we're on try number I wanna say like like between five and ten. I can't I can't say I've counted the attempts. Maybe like eight tries so far? Does anybody know? Try seven? Yeah. Something like that. I'd say no more than ten. Forget she can run in. Dude, it's back to back with the grab. Uh, okay. A little scary. Spooky on my end. Hit those ankles. Alright, here we go. And then can you parry that too? I'd imagine you could. It would make sense. Blow, blow me up. I don't really want to be blown up. That was a nice dodge. I respect. I respect the dodge. Okay. I'm going to take a really quick bathroom break, guys. I'll be back in two seconds. Give me a moment.
right, we're back. Kingfu, what's going on, dude? You should play the game. It's good. Can you parry anything besides grabs? I'm pretty sure. So in this game, you can parry any single thing except for grabs and then area of effect attacks that are like big explosions as far as I know. But now that I've seen that you can parry the lightning, the projectiles, the, you, maybe you can actually parry every single instance of magic there is too. There's just not a lot of times people use explosions or magic, right? <laughs> How long I've been fighting uh, this boss? Probably like, I want to say at least half an hour now, something like that. Uh, fake thinking about what you said yesterday helped you out a lot. No matter the hardships, you're going to improve day to day. That, that's all we can do, right? Uh, I'm glad that that discussion did something for you. That's cool. Because I think you, you were the one that originally started up Worship asking questions. So. If I can say anything that gives you insight that like helps you work through a situation, that's more than what I'd expect to do. But it's a, it's a nice bonus. And I wish you the absolute best. If you ever need to talk about anything, let me know. Acid damage Meltzer. Okay, I'm going to use the acid grindstone. I think we got that, right? Or, oh no, I have to switch from this one. Don't think I've ever actually, I haven't used the acid grindstone before. But I have the abrasives on the top slot too, so we could just do the whole fight like that. Let's see. Played Mortal Shell? Yeah, I have a playthrough on the YouTube. You type in exclamation point socials. Dude, the damage is wild. You're right. Damage is out of this world. Okay, so like right after the sword swipes, I got a parry. Not not early. I was trying to predict it a little bit. What's the build? I'm using motivity, mainly for the character, and I'm using the live puppet axe with the curved bramble sword handle. Don't know about the merchant. Uh I found a lot of merchants. I don't know, it depends on which one. If it's before this part of the game, you can just tell me. Notice you only have seven heals. You had ten by then? Oh, yeah. The heals aren't even really that big of a deal in this fight. I just need to like be a little bit more accurate. Because like, there's stuff I know how to do that I'm kind of just getting a little lazy on. And then the second part, I'm not sure. So the first part, I just need to be better. I shouldn't be taking too much damage here at this point. 
silly. Should've dodged twice. See, I already used two. Ah, oh, keep forgetting about that too. That was like a really weird clip right there. Not the greatest attempt, but again, anything that gets us some information. I'll take every single attempt and try. Doesn't matter too much. I still don't really know how to dodge that, or if I even need to. Super delay three. No throwables in this neighborhood. Am I doing no throwables? Uh, slash maiden. What does maiden mean? Oh, there's a specific merchant that has unlimited throwables. I think I probably found it. But yeah, no, I have been using throwables a little bit. Oh, specter. Yeah, yeah, I haven't been using a specter at all. Do that at least. I did that twice now. I didn't really know what was going on though. I thought that was like kind of scripted or something like that. Attempt right here. Just get that weapon back up, just in case. Because we are definitely not going to have a lot of time in this fight. We'll be doing those kind of things. Almost in the ceiling, we're gonna make her glitch out of bounds. Okay. I've gotten that once. The arm of God will awaken mm. soon. It's hard to see what's going on. There's a lot of stuff going on that's distracting me from what's actually happening with the moveset on the second part. Like, if it was, like, the same as the first where she's not trying to move out of the way, like, she's kind of just in front of you, it'd be super, super simple. 
But I think that I'm trying to, like, I'm expecting her to attack, but then she moves instead of attacking. So one, one big charge attack to the shield seems like it's a break. Beautiful. Nice. Good, good phase one. Just right out of it again. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Getting speed running strats going on over here. Damn. Saving some durability too. Okay, there we go. I heard that finally. Thank God. Some free damage. Abrasive. Yep. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> that run is fun is really funny. I like that. Okay, she only did one that time. I want the charge really badly. I want it so badly that I'm getting greedy. Can't be getting greedy at all. Please give me it. No, dude. Alright, progress. Progress, man. Can never figure out the jump parry. Yeah, I think I got a good cue for it. You have you, this is the type of fight where on the second part you actually have to like look for cues. Like, I, I was saying before, I don't really actually, like, look for specific things that often. I don't really focus that much. I kind of stop focusing and zone out and look at the whole screen without actually, like, focusing on a certain point and just, like, feel it. But that, that second part, you have to, like, actually, like, really look at small details a lot more intently. From what I've understood so far, maybe that's just how I can do it for now. But, yeah. That was wild. That should get me first, exactly. Big cheater. Just goes to show when you have more health how much easier it is to farm information on the second part. You can see like a, almost a half win right there. And then there's probably another phase after that too. So I gotta be careful. Oh, was she trying to get up right there? What's going on?
Dude, the block is wild. Why are we blocking here? Shot put? Beautiful. Oh, wait. Did she go down after that? Ha! Dude, she does a combo before that, before the stagger. Is that, was that normal? Dude, that's, whoa. Whoa, I had no chance anyways. That's, what is that? I thought, I thought it glitched out for a second. Oh my God. Oh, at least I figured it out like that. I got that information from the shop, but that wasn't a bad idea. Dude, that's crazy. This is the final boss? I don't know. I don't really want to know. <laughs> Spoilers. It's really cool though. I think this is my favorite so far. This definitely beats King of Puppets. I don't know if that missed me completely. That was weird. Oh, she got back up. No! Oh, I got greedy. We'll got greedy. Very important to break the shield. Does, when she when you break the shield though does that mean in phase two the shield is smaller like it carries over this boss has as many, this game has as many bosses Elden Ring you just haven't found the caves yet <laughs> shield stays broken in phase two okay well then she can't block when I'm trying to stagger them that's good with the throwables so we got a strategy there I like the fact you can break the shield that's cool how long I've been on this boss? Uh, probably 40 minutes now or so. Also, Turco, welcome back, dude. The, the thing you sent me with the bear was so funny. Worship ah, Crazy boss, excited to try the game. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Definitely worth it. be weird if it didn't stay broken it'd be funny if she still tried to block but then like you would just th throw an item over the shield because it would be like a little tiny piece of metal how far am i in lords of the fallen hoofstar i've played it for two hours or just over two hours so i'm on the second boss Greedy man. Gotta calm down. It's good to get like a charge attack from over here. Too. That also easily breaks the shield. Ah, way too greedy. But the damage is wild though. Can we see the scene after phase one? I can, yeah, I can let it play one more time, but I'm gonna definitely skip it every time after that though, if anyone didn't see it. It's pretty cool actually, the The first cut scene is awesome too, where like the, just a gigantic sword plunge into the cement. It's like, imagine how strong you'd have to be to carry that weapon, let alone actually shove it into the, the into concrete and then pull it back out. It's like, if, some, if I saw that in real life, I'd run away for sure, I wouldn't even try to fight. That's when you're outclassed by your opponent. That was really good. I changed the charger attack to a uh, regular one. Break the shield. Oh no. I need to wait till she does lightning. Should be good. I don't know if he can break the shield out of this. I'll step out of that. Oh, 
That's how I was able to do that before. Okay, no shield break, but whatever. We'll just wait the shot, but it's all good. See where she was there. Uh, oh, she's gonna do the crazy thing. Oh. Okay, okay. That wasn't as much as before. The Arma God thing must have been a regular attack chained into that, maybe? Phase four, or fought three. Oh, is there not a phase three? Thank you for the GGs, guys. I didn't know that was actually it. I thought there was even more. Unless I skipped some of the moveset. Actually obliterated, yeah. Oh, I forgot to show the cutscene. Yeah, uh, well, you can go back and watch it in my brand new YouTube channel that has long play content, not edited, like the main channel, with my full playthrough on this coming up in a couple weeks uploaded there. Sub right now to help me get partnered so I can actually continue to do more stuff on that second channel. <laughs> and have more permissions. GG second try, not bad. So that, yeah, that was probably like, what, like 20 tries or something like that? So there's a there's a certainty that we're beating this today. I guess I have another three hours. So if we can beat this in that amount of time, that's amazing. Also, anime figurines. What's going on, dude? What's going to be on the second channel? Every single thing that I do on the stream that is like a playthrough of a new game and any kind of run, challenge run, speed run, anything, it'll be on there unedited. So the main channel has a bunch of edited stuff that's just cut down so you can watch it in you know, amounts of maybe two hours at the most, but usually like 30 minute videos, 20 minute videos, maybe 50 minute videos, whatever. Um, there'll be like full 40 hour playthroughs on the other channel. So this whole playthrough will be on there in parts. And then um, I'll, I'll try to edit together as many things as I can to make them as big of videos as possible. So if you want to just watch a long play or a let's play, for example, that's, that's where you can find all that because that won't be uploaded to the main channel. And it'll also be removed from Twitch after 60 days for all the VODs, so... There's that, and also a lot of old challenge runs I've already done before that are um, actually... They've been uploaded by someone else that was keeping all of my VODs for me. Um, they did me a huge favor with that. I'm going to be uploading some of those really old challenge runs you've never even seen before on all the Souls games to that channel too. So there's going to be some content you might have never seen before, even on the stream. Which is awesome, so yeah. Um, but I think that, yeah, we're at we're at 100 subs on it now or over, so we can actually make a custom URL. Then 1,000 is the next goal, and I can actually get partnered on that channel. And the Armored Core playthrough is what I'm uploading right now. So one video every single day, and then following that, still a, still a video every single day until I've uploaded everything I possibly can. And then we'll keep putting everything on there. But it'll probably be daily uploads for months. So <laughs> there should be enough stuff for that. Is that Sophia, or is that somebody else? Blue hair. Save me. It is. Oh, God. It hurts so much. I want to be free. Please. What? What, what do we do? I, I, I don't know. I can't make this choice. I think she wants to live, but what will you do? You have to decide. You, not me. Keep her alive, perhaps against her wishes, or, or give her peace. It's your call. Help. 
hold me. My energy is... Sophia, I can't seem to make contact, but I can still sense her. I don't know if I picked the, the better option. You're right. I think there could be other ways to save Sophia. Let's, let's keep going. Entreat. Ergo is whispering. My blue fairy. It's a bunch of butterflies. Sophia. I think she's gone, pal. No! I can't sense her anymore. I know. Deep down in my heart, I still love you. <laughs> it's like the intervention meme. Oh boy. I don't know if anyone still remembers that show or has seen that clip. If you haven't seen that clip, you gotta watch the original. <laughs> oh boy. Um, oh shit. Okay, that was that was a turn of events. She died, and then some guys around the corner pokes me in the eyeball. <laughs> Immediate vision, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. I haven't seen that clip in so long. I, I watch it once in a while just because it's amazing. I, like the way the guy cries is like a. I, I want to hear like a dubstep remix of, of his voice or something like that. This is so unique. It's like I, I like watching the videos of people that have like unique types of sounds, like like sneezes, cries. Uh, Laughs, the unique laugh video where the guy's like, <laughs> and there's like the baby laughing, and there's the guy's like, <laughs> not human. Oh man, you're mourning now the pain of humans, human emotions taking over my stab to the eye. <laughs> oh no. The Haitian weatherman laugh? I don't know if I've seen that one. That last boss was so cool though, dude. That was my favorite. What was the name again? Was it a a Axastia? Or La La Lax Laxastia? Laxa La Lazastia? Laxastia? Laxative? Laxasia. Okay, yeah, that was, that was definitely the best one. Puppet King was pretty cool too, but yeah. So it's funny though, because like, that just shows the build's crazy. Because people were like, oh yeah, there's definitely going to be ones that are four times harder than Puppet King. Puppet King was still the longest in the entire game. Took me three hours, and then everything after that that was quote unquote hard took an hour or less. And I think next to that, Andreas was like about an hour or a little bit more, and then... What else do we got? Um... I don't even know what else would be hard after that. Oh, uh, Victor. Victor was about an hour, too. So I think the build's just crazy. Also, this guy seems to get staggered every other attack I do. <laughs> Off the edge. Oh. Maybe not. The boss is not tied to humanity, only one, only to one last choice. Puppet King was your longest too? Okay. There's four tries for you, Semantic? Okay, you're way too good, dude. You're way too good. Calm down. This isn't a competition, dude. Calm down. <laughs> Full Moon Snood with Covenant. Nice. So that means we can make the... Wait, do I have two of those right now? Oh, I have three of them. We can make the frozen feasts. Or was it? Is it called frozen feasts? I think it's called frozen feast. Yes, frozen feast. We can make it plus five. Downgrading skill. No, you must have. You must be incredibly good at this game. It took you two tries to do that without watching anybody do it. Like just completely blind to the game. That, that's almost like. I don't even know. That's that's crazy. Your brain downloaded all the information, the, the the encrypted code of the game. 
You first tried the last boss and didn't even play the game. Get good. <laughs> Get a big hammer. Oh, that hammer is, is that good, huh? Because like I think you told me about the hammer. I have it too. I haven't used it though. voices that like are just the, the little enemies are so good too also there's really funny deaths in this game look how that guy died how you doing just just chilling taking a break got the arm up on the ledge will I do challenge runs on this game I almost have to at this point it's too good it's too good to not try at least one run but I'll probably end up doing a couple and then after that uh, I guess there's going to be DLC so before the DLC comes out I definitely want to do a speed run and some other type of challenge run. Oh no. Oh shoot. Okay, that's not good. The music is good. Oh, music in this area has been amazing the whole time. Uh, I don't like the look of that guy. He's looking spooky. Take the fight with the fable bar down, or did I did I waste it? Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh no! No! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Got the heal back. What have you not liked about the game? Like such tiny things that they're not worth even really like criticizing or anything it's it's like the menus that pop up when you read a point of interest or when you get drops from bosses or enemies that are auto dropped those go away way too fast they need to make a thing where it's a prompt where you you're the one that cancels it off the screen so you can read everything and then go find it in the inventory uh and then again some of the voice acting in the beginning was a bit stumbly here and there for certain characters but it's not enough for the whole game to even really criticize the whole voice acting um, and some of the characters got better over time. And then also when the guy moves on the ground, just it feels a little floaty when he turns sometimes, like he's almost sliding on ice. Like it doesn't look like he's tra his footsteps are tracking properly on the actual ground. But when you play, though, and you're running around really fast, you can't notice it. It's, it's only when you're moving kind of slowly and you're turning. You ju it just looks like, whoa, kind of sliding around a little bit. That was a bad idea. Uh, uh, nope, that was a bad idea. That was a good idea. Puppet slide, they don't walk. <laughs> well, there's other things in the game, though, that when they move towards you, they don't have that situation. They don't look like that at all, even running slowly or jogging. It's only, it's only your, your character that seems to kind of have that. But I, I, again, I don't think it's a big deal. It's not game breaking or anything. It's just this tiny, tiny immersive detail. Throw up a link for the YouTube channel, Bun. Exclamation point Y22. If you want the uh, the long play YouTube channel. And again, if you want to see the first full playthrough of this that we're doing right now that we're finishing, if you want to see all the parts of it, the whole thing unedited it's going to be on that channel uh, in the coming weeks 
after I get everything else uploaded that's already on there, or make it live, I guess. This is already a ton of stuff that's already on there, ready to go. But I'll try to make this one of the, uh, the next few things after Armored Core. Yeah, exclamation, it should be exclamation point YT2. I don't know why that's not working, though. Dude, I just tapped out, and then I have to... Oh, no. Almost had to play off of the OBS screen there for a second. Fall off, I dare you to. There you go. It could be the permissions for the command, like maybe it's not oh, enabled for everybody. Like even his death, dude, he's just sitting up against the wall. And his head's just kind of roly-poly, dude. <laughs> That's kind of funny. They need to add some hyper armor to the beefy weapons. Big weapons suck against normal mobs. See, for me, I could see that being cool, but like it might actually make it too easy because all the big weapons I've seen, unless like you mean with a slower handle, if maybe if you add a slower handle to a big weapon blade or head, then yes, yes, hyper armor would be good. But the way that I'm using it, I don't. I feel like that'd be almost kind of cheating. Like it'd be unfair because it's so good already. Like I just kind of even proved too. Like that that boss you guys were saying was one of the hardest in the game, if not the hardest, and I beat it in under an hour. So if that's a possibility with a slow weapon. Or a, like sorry, a heavier build. Uh, then, if anything, I feel like they're gonna like potentially nerf some of the stuff that I'm using right now. And if they don't, then I'm, that's amazing. But I could even tolerate it being like 20% worse, 25% worse, and it's still being pretty effective. Also, I guess the acid abrasive, abrasive was part of that too. But yeah, slower handle. I would say that that makes sense for sure. Some of the ragdoll is so good. Actually, the fact I got the cat dust and I'm kind of on the wire here. Let's use that cat dust. Use that cat dust. Oh boy. Are you gonna play Liza P one day? <laughs> I might, I might have to actually. Suzerix, so, I'm doing good, how are you? We're getting close to the end of the game right now. I know you've seen some of the first playthrough so far, but um, yeah, I'm very excited to be near the end, but it's it's also kind of like, it's bittersweet, dude. Like, it was a good game. And I would love to do another playthrough with a different build, New Game Plus as well, so that's going to happen at some point. But before that, though, as long as... Do you guys know that you can keep the same save file or export it to, like, a folder on a computer just so you don't have to overwrite it? Because I want to try a speedrun before I, I go back and do New Game Plus. Since New Game Plus, I feel like I could do pretty quickly. Like in one stream. Whoa, oh, wait, that might not be a, a bad guy. That's the Red Fox. At first, it was money. There was no way out of this dump other than buying your way out. Later, when his sight started failing... How many hours? Under 40. Like, probably 38 hours? 39? He was going totally blind. Let's go double check. But now, the fruit is useless. I almost took her out, yeah. <laughs> I swear on my life as a stalker that your father is safe. My employer promised not to harm him. Oh, she's a stalker, okay. Not that such a promise is worth anything to you now. But I wanted to set the record straight before, you know, revenge is all I have left now. She's not gonna try to fight me, is she? You might be my first Oh no, challenge. while I'm against the wall? Come on. Can I get the elevator still?
killing Black Cat and the Fox will save this save. It'll save the save. Could have just given some coins. I could have, but... I don't know, man. The Black Cat guy, I don't really like him that much. I don't like either of them that much. They're kind of annoying. Like, it's just like... The, the, this this game, you get treated pretty shitty the whole time, I will be honest. Like, your character does not get a lot. Like, he, he gets a tiny bit of respect from Vanini and a little bit from, like, your dad. But they ask so much of you. I know you're not a human, but, like, dude, like, come on. You're doing human stuff. That's, like, cut the, cut the puppet a break. Okay, I should level first, too. Let's do that. That's cool that you can run away from the boss fight, though. Or whatever NPC fight you want to call it. Uh, I'm just going to put more damage in. Why not? Actually, uh, should we? Health might be a good idea. Let's do health. They fucked with us the whole game. Exactly, yeah. Like, I don't really like them that much. They only befriend you if they give you some if you give them something. They're they're conditional, they're not real friends. They're very annoying, but at the end of it, they are alright. They get a little bit of redemption. They are sorry and grateful after the way they treated you. You choose to be kind to them, so in turn they're also kind to you. Yeah, but they should have been kind by default though. Realize, realize, realize. Said it right there. That should be like the subtitle on the, the game, or the DLC should be called that. you with the full meanie. Turn you into a linguine. A fine paste. A pesto. In your face. Call you Ernesto. Make you listen to Tiesto for 24 hours straight. MP3. iPod. For heaven's sake. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. I would not want to listen to Tiesto for 24 hours straight. We could be friends. Rap battle skills. <laughs> Rap battle against the fox. She gets up so fast. She doesn't get knocked over, really. Still do that, though. Like, I gotta charge the R2 as she gets up. Covered in blood. I suppose we villains never get to choose. She's called herself a villain. I'm the good guy, even though I'm bloody. Wait, let me try on the, the mask. I like the fox one too. Although I wish it had a back part to the head. That'd be really cool. There's like a full helmet. You know, it's actually really funny. I have a, a, a how like a it's not like my actual Halloween costume, but I have a mask that I got that I was going to wear for Halloween that looks like the Red Fox mask, but it's white, and it has LEDs all over it. Uh, looks pretty interesting with that set right there. You have to show us the mask, though. Okay, I'll show you guys the mask on, on the Halloween stream. How about that? Because I have another costume that's pretty cool that I'm going to be wearing, but I'll show you the other one. I was thinking of doing the Halloween run also on the third. Wait, wait, Halloween's the 31st, right? Or no? Yeah, I think Halloween's the 31st. Is that true? I can't remember. I'm terrible with this stuff. <laughs> I need to know beforehand before I talk to Geppetto. We'll never know her real name. I don't even want to know. You missed, you missed Laxasia? How, how did it go? Julian, it was good. It was actually, it was my favorite boss in the game. It is? It is on the 31st? Okay, so on the 30th, I might do the Halloween stream, just in case we can't actually stream on the 31st. I probably will be able to, but I want to get a run done that day, and then have it edited up and, up and uploaded for the 31st on the YouTube specifically as well, just to have a Halloween theme it thing there too. Me. To see my precious. So I'll probably do that, and then like maybe we'll this. do two different things. I wanted you to grow up as a good boy, 
in a peaceful world. And yet, I think all I've taught you is blood and violence. See, he was saying exactly what I was this saying will before. This be the last time, I ask. Time for a sick fight? I'm fighting Dad? Simon has gone completely mad. He's trying to become a god by using a tremendous amount of ergo. I don't know what kind of world he wants to build. Perhaps there's no stopping him. I trust you, my son. Are we Pinocchio? We are, and yeah. I'm ready for any outcome. But I don't know what you think of me. He's like, I built you and I'm ready Speak to take you apart, truthfully. boy. For my sake. Was I a trustworthy father to you? Dude, of course not. What are you talking about? Was he? Maybe? Yes or no? Yes or no? I see. I didn't do enough to... My first instinct was no, he's not. He's just kind of a... He's kind of a little bit of no, a... a very good... Self-centered... Puppet builder. More loneliness than... Eldad, yeah. <laughs> That's my burden to bear. But remember, there is still... Dad, more time. like dud. <laughs> Once all this is over... More like malfunction. We can become a real family. I promise. I will give it back to you. A happy family. We once were. Big promises. Uh oh. We got the uh, Arch, Arch Abbey passageway Put an end key. To it all. And come back to your father's side. Son. Why don't you do it? <laughs> you're all I have. I want to see him fist fight Simon. I want to see them in an octagon, and then that's the end of the game. That'd be a pretty good ending. And then, like, I get to watch, and then he gets to put his life on the line. Put an end to it. Son. If he wants the trust, if he wants the family. It's like, do it for the kids. Noah's the truth, so you're good? Okay, I had a feeling. You can't build your own child. Yeah, but once you do, though, if you achieve such a thing, and it, it, you, you send it out on a bloodshed mission of chaos and destruction, and then it actually does, it does everything you say and it comes back and then you're, you're, you're still just kind of being shifty. It's like, what do you expect, man? If there was friendly fire in the game, I would try to hit him. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I probably wouldn't do that. I would probably try to kill some of the NPCs, though, just for fun. Imagine suddenly switching over to play his dad for a segment. <laughs> and it's like, it's like um, the UFC game. That'd be amazing. I have to jump here. Assassin's Amulet. Increases critical attack. That could be very, very good because we do a lot of critical attacks. That might be worth switching. Does this game have dedicated jump? Uh, it doesn't, no. You can only jump while running. It's kind of like Dark Souls 1. It doesn't... The world's not built in a way where it needs it. Still got hit by that guy. Oh, critical's not a fatal attack. My bad. What would a critical be then? <laughs> Worst enemies in the game back to back. They just made the uh the walk of hell right here. Oh boy.
Oh, that charge? That extra charge actually did a bit more on this guy. It seemed like it was worth it. I think we're almost at the top. See, I'm tempted to go back down there, but now we gotta continue. The immersion. If I rested again, it would be more of a game. Right now it's real life. That? This is serious. Like someone walked across my grave. I sense air go everywhere. I mean this place is saturated with it. Like what you'd expect from a mountain of dead puppets. That's really cool. Look at this. so we came from over there. Has quite a view. I'm assuming you can't see the main city from here. If you could, that wait, let me actually double check. Let's see if we can see the main city. Oh, wait. You can. If you can see all the areas from here. I can see rooftops and stuff like that. I don't know. Hmm. It's hard to say. It's very hard to say. When you get to the very top, you can. Wow. Cringy commentary. <laughs> yeah, I, I love when you play a game and you can see areas that you actually went to or that you're going to go to from like multiple different viewpoints. That's a definitely a very Dark Souls type of thing. Open world kind of game thing with, with large draw distances and all that. I wonder if I can break the chain here. That looks like something you could break. Oh my god, he punches so far. Why this much disruption? Why this much disruption? Oh, don't throw me off of the thing. Oh, he's sucking my soul out. He's a mind flayer. I'm fighting Bane now. This is Bane remastered. He's got the yellow Gatorade veins now. He drank the lemon lime, dude. He's also kind of gassy. What is, what is going on? Uh, no. There we go. Well, that was kind of lucky it staggered him there. We got a lot of quartz. I guess um, if there is one more boss fight, I can go back and we can figure all that out. Okay, I want to throw something at this chain. I don't think it is going to work, but I'm just curious. Probably doesn't do anything. Will I be doing runs of this game, Gavibi? I most likely will be. Just, uh, I'm not sure exactly when, but I want to, though. Like, I would love to try a speed run on it as soon as possible, and then uh, some sort of challenge run as well. Let's see how they go. I'm also curious about trying different builds with the this save file we have already. So I was asking, like, you can you can save a save file and then make other ones, right? Or is there only one save file per profile on this? So I might have to find a way to locate the save data in the game folder and then just save it to somewhere on my computer. This chapter actually is very big. I just realized we've been doing this chapter since yesterday. Killed door door guardian or door door giant. Sorry, we killed uh, Laxasia. Still got something else going on too, and lots of lots of areas. Is that quick slash combo from the handle? It is. Yeah, it's the the bramble curve sword. So said Peastress three. I Adriana recorded for the brothers and sisters. Praise Peastress, the one who will swallow even God. 
Listen, my brothers and sisters. I, Petrus, shall tell you about the true eternal life. An angel's gift was something humans dare not enjoy. Many humans died with the hopes in their hearts, and the ones who lived harbored rage instead of death. Eventually, humans destroyed and burned their hope on their own, and that is how the angel became the god torn to death. But today, there are definitely those who survive with the blessing. They, the immortal ones, still walk around and wish for the resurrection of God. I clearly hold, told the, the truth I witnessed. Now you shall all follow this path. Peace just three. Swirly hand on the wall. Uh, you missed it, Boilmanator? It's okay, I'm going to be uploading this full playthrough. If you want to see the full playthrough, though, I will say, go to um, type in exclamation point YT2 and subscribe to that YouTube channel. It's my second one. I just made it for long play videos or any any single first play I do, any kind of challenge that's like the full unedited content that's not going to make it on the main channel. So if you do want to rewatch this and have every bit of it or anything in general, that is where it'll be. Simon Manus' Confession. A father is like God to his son. Even I, Simon, was no different in my youth. But the one who created me was no normal human, and my abilities were extraordinary. You are a failure too. The ability to read minds. Being abandoned in front of God meant the world's destruction. From then on, my life existed to make a world without lies. A world where no one betrays you and there's only truth, even if it's forced. Now the finale is here. Once the door is open, it can't be closed. For humankind, I, Simon, gave up being human and decided to walk the path of immortality and truth. My body will be broken and reformed as the god that was torn apart. I leave this record in my last moments as a human. Simon Peastris Manus. What a, what a fancy carpet, dude. What a nice picture, too. What a nice scepter. Wait, is there, a, is there like a butterfly in there? I, I'm trying to see what's going on with the little, little cane. Something in there. A little design. Always wondered what was in there. Okay. Nice chair, yeah. It's a ribbon. Something like that. 144 now. I see. Nice, nice. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, trying to think of what... Oh, go back and use the quartz for sure. Let's go do that. Dahlia, thank you so much for the raid. What's going on? Uh, what's my level? I am level 72 at the moment. Thank you so much for everyone raiding from Dahlia's stream. Let's We're finishing Lies of P so right now. This I think this is the very, very end. So if you haven't played so this game and you want to play it, spoiler alert. <laughs> or if you were already playing it. Um, but if not, then yeah, it's been really, really good. I love the game if you want to know what I think about it so far. Uh, also, if you guys don't know Dahlia, she does a lot of different content, but does play a lot of Souls games as well. And some challenge runs. So give her a follow if you haven't seen her stream. And thank you again for raiding. I'm going to go back and use a bunch of quartz that I just got the hotel. Oh, we got to talk to uh, Antonia, and it looks like I think that's Paulandina as well. Am I going to play Lords of the Fallen, Zerobi? So I already started a playthrough on it. I'm two hours in the Lords of the Fallen, and then we're going to stream more of it tomorrow as well. I'm not 100% sure if we would have enough time to really get into it too much today before I'm done, but definitely tomorrow, 100%. Dahlia's doing Sekiro Deathless? Oh my god, that's crazy. I remember Sekiro Deathless was the first challenge I did on it, and it was actually really hard. I died three times at the very end on Immortal Severance. With unsurpassed sorrow. What ending are you doing? As she entered immortality, she seemed at peace. Her face was calm, and she wasn't in pain. No. It is all thanks to you. She died. Without your most difficult of choices, she would never have found such peace. As for me, I am bereft of You're emotion. doing the, the Shura ending? My okay. Life, That's a cool ending too, though. I like that one. What passes for it has lost meaning. It feels like pain has swallowed me whole. Thus I plan to erase my heart and become an ordinary puppet. 
This will be my last conversation with you, no, Miss Polandina. Not the last conversation. Despite how it ended, I thank you for the kindness, bravery, and beautiful moments you showed me. What a what a class character. What a class A character, I should Welcome say. Welcome to Hotel. High quality man. He was definitely one of my favorites for sure. That sucks. Okay. <laughs> I'm not crying, dude. I just have dust in my eyes. Like, it's fucking dusty, dude. Stop. Stop. Stop looking at me. Antonia is. <laughs> she was sick, but her personality was so formidable. Polly. The hotel feels empty without her. I would have done everything I could to help with weapons. Oh, damn it. I'm so tired of people I know dying. So you'd better not die. Stop if it. You can't stay alive. <laughs> I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> You're here. Paul is one of the That's best characters in the game. Me, yeah, 100%. I agree. He's one of my favorites. He's been solid the whole time. Voice acting has been really good on him, too. I'm going to get this to plus five just because. And then we have enough to get that to plus four. Not that it really matters too much, but. Uh. I wonder, hmm, I could take another weapon, like, fully to probably around plus 10. I just don't know what I would want to use, because we have some other motivity weapons. The, uh, wait, the hammer is apparently pretty good. Hammer might be worth it. I think we should try that. And I got. I think I have to buy two more of the. Yeah, two more of the basic moonstones. Do you have a favorite weapon? The life puppet axe is my favorite for Welcome sure. To With uh, the bramble handle. So two more of these. Uh, I have fourteen, fifteen of those. Nine, nine. The green toothpick is your favorite. Is that the acid spear? You are here. This one. Acidic Crystal Spear Blade. Apparently that's good too, but it's advanced, so I don't know if it would be worth using on this build. Also, Dahlia, if you're still here, dude, have you played this game at all or no? Wretch time? You mean you mean the wrench? I actually I used the wrench for the beginning quite a bit. I could always upgrade that too, but I'm very curious about this hammer because we haven't even tried it. We might as well try something different before the end, right? Because I'm probably going to respec on New Game Plus or before, if it gives you the option especially. Yeah, we can take this to plus 10. So we have enough to take a lot of stuff to plus 10. Just need to pop another Ergo. You are here. Nice. And then... Uh... I'm very curious of putting it on the handle I have already. Uh, let me wait. Let me actually just see what kind of scaling it is. 314 right now. Um, alter handle or sorry, assemble. Charge pulse cell is much better. Able charge on this one 720 though. It's so good. Uh, the weight is 2.9 lighter. Damage 314 plus 108. 348 plus 120. So, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Might not be. It's definitely not better with this handle. But, oh, wait, but I can. Oh, I can't do anything else with it. It's just a blunt weapon. That's pretty much it. Oh, she beat it. Nice. That's awesome. Is the handle from the acid. Good. Single stab. Gather your strength for a big forward piercing attack. The letter scaling in this game are all the same value. Okay. You love police baton with the motivity build? Is the police baton actually that good? Oh yeah, I heard You're the police here. handle is good. So, wait. Assemble. What was the handle? Did I? I, I didn't sell the police baton, did I? 
New weapon assemble. I'm trying to remember what it looks like. I might have actually gotten rid of it. I hope I really didn't do that. Stats, yeah, I can show you the stats. So 27 vitality, um, 18 vigor, capacity is 25, and then 30 motivity. Storage, maybe storage. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, because that handle with the the hammer might be good. Oh, there it is. Increase the attack for next hit. Yeah. Mm. Could be really good. And it's two pounds. The big forward slash for the, the baton head is pretty good, too. Okay, yeah, I'm going to take that back out, and then we'll assemble it with that. I'll put a motivity crank on it. Difference in have, having the here. weapons in the bag in storage. Well, I can't actually access them at the blacksmith right now. Unless I take them out of storage, but... It's probably just to keep the menu a little bit more organized for you. I don't think they're actually... There's not, like, an over-encumbrance for carrying items that I've actually seen in this. I don't think it exists. So it seems like it's just something that you would do to make it easier to sort through. Oh, wait, because we didn't save the assembly. <laughs> I always do that. Someone's going to comment that like on the YouTube video. Finally, they'll be like, it's so annoying that you don't click X to assemble the weapon streamer. I can't believe you. Re. <laughs> I hate it. OK, 314 plus 132. Ah, uh, it's not too bad. And then we get that ability to increase the attack on the next hit, so we'll try that. Uh, and then Quartz. Gotta use the Quartz. I gotta Welcome. get more Fable, Fable Catalysts and then the Legion Magazines, too. Try it on the dummies. Like, the actual ability that it has. I could, but like at the same time, me trying on an actual enemy is like the same thing. So I haven't really used the dummies. I've just kind of gone into combat and used it. Because it, because regardless, I'm still gonna have to try to figure out the difference of how it attacks against an actual enemy in terms of the distance and the, their move set, anyways. So if we're working on something, can't really s skip that step, anyways, right? Belt slots. We got amulet slot. Oh, that's really good. Uh, yeah. That would be amazing. Break the enemy stance when a perfect guard is successful. Is that immediate? Like, you can use that right away? Well, we're, we're going to do both of these anyways, but yeah. Uh, let's see what we got here. Lowers damage of charge fable, charge attack fable. Received when doing a charge attack. Uh, special resistance. Special resistance seems pretty good. I'll do that. And then items. Consumable effect duration. Does the grindstone count towards that? Is that actually because the grindstone's not necessarily a regular consumable? Oh wait, sorry. Special grindstone. It, 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 yeah, never mind. It's right underneath that. I'm, <laughs> don't even say anything. Enhance fable catalyst effect. Uh. Attack when durability is at maximum. Attack when discharge. These two seem pretty good too. I use both of those. I'll have to do it for the next one. Uh, lowers legion consumption of legion arms when HP is low. Durability recovery is not relevant yet. Stamina consumption when discharged. Yes.
Weapon attack when discharged. Fatal attack, pulse cell charge. Yep, definitely. Reduce stamina from dash. There we go. Perfect. How come you don't up the pulse cells just out of curiosity? Look at the tier 5 stuff. Uh, what do you mean by that? Like, I thought I, I... You mean like with these... Like this right here? Why didn't I up it with the first one? Okay, add Legion arm slot number 2. Increase staggerable window. That's a really good one. I like that. The cube uses cool. See, I, I guess just to like kind of get towards the next pulse cell, we'll just put another one in. Enhances stagger attack of charge. Yep, that's good too. Nice. All right, we're ready. Yeah, I, I guess I didn't really think of using the first one. That would have been a good idea. Have I played Nine Souls demo? I've never even heard about that before. Oh, I should probably get the fruit too before we leave here. Or there's there's gonna be somebody that has a connection for sure. <laughs> I feel like you should quit your job so you can play all the games you want to this year. You don't have enough time for all of them, anime. Well, you can always, like, play them slowly, right? So, I'd recommend, like, maybe just put in, like, an hour here and there, and then you get to enjoy stuff over the course of the next year very, very gradually, whereas the people that use all their free time just to play them, or maybe have more free time to play them, they'll, they'll be done and wanting more things to play. So you can, you can play the long game, as long as you can still enjoy them breaking it up a lot, but... Like, so when I took a, a month off from streaming, like, I didn't really play a lot of games by myself, but if I visited friends and they wanted to play a game, like, we would just chip away at small things. So we'd play, like, maybe two races in Forza, then turn it off, you know, um, play, like, a little bit of Guitar Hero, play a few songs, turn it off kind of thing. Uh, maybe, I'm trying to think, played Mortal Kombat, played, like, a couple rounds, turned it off, you know, or Street Fighter. So it's like, I have barely made progress in a lot of those other things. I probably never will beat them, but like, it's just one of those, unless I stream them at least, but um, you can you can totally do that. That's the kind of gaming I would be doing if I didn't make content. I would just be like very, very slowly turning stuff on for like maybe 20 minutes to an hour here and there, and then I might never beat anything, but it'd be fun still. Did I play Blasphemous 2? I did, but I didn't beat it though. Okay, we have to go to Antonia as well. Where is she? Oh, we got the uh, the explorer guy, the rookie explorer. Hey, I didn't think we'd meet again. I've just come back from the relic of Trismegistus, and I had no idea it was connected to the hotel. I should add that to my map. It was grim work out there. I found the real Aladoro. She's dead, but it still shows her on the map. She's still real to Probably me. Probably died heroic. It still says. Seeking one last score. <sighs> I buried his body and collected his belongings. Do you like the parry system? I love the parry system. tragedy. He was a real professional and an inspiration to the next generation. Oh, she's in Geppetto's room, my bad. I'm planning to continue his legacy. And like I said, I'm an explorer, not a fighter. So you would know, is this weapon any good? If you're worthy... I'll give you Aladoro's weapon. Hmm. Wait, that's a weapon? Uroboros eye cannot disassemble to sword? Technique? That's interesting. A chakram, ah, uh, true. Usually, I'm used to chakrams having like a very distinct blade on the outside. It looked like just like a circle. I'm like, what? Where's the where's the part that pokes people or sla slashes? Uh, we have this one, impregnable fortress amulet. It's the Mike Tyson. Upon successful guard, weapon durability not consumed. My my defense is an impregnable fortress of amulets. 
an amulet that can be consumed on a puppet. Information and memories that are useful for movement can be imprinted on the symbol to draw out special powers. <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, weapon durability not consumed. I'm not sure if that's relevant, but I guess like I want that weapon for the next playthrough because it's a it's a circle. It's cool. Lies of P first person incoming first person Mike Tyson lies of P. <laughs> Get the two dragon sword. You'd enjoy it. Um, I'm not sure exactly where that is. Is that um from this guy? I want to give out this one. Yeah, I can't. I, I already used it. I have to go on New Game Plus. So, and the second playthrough, I can get it. Voice filter. That was supposed to be the Mike Tyson filter. All right. Um. So what I'm gonna do? We've been playing for a little bit. Here, I'm gonna play a song for you guys. I'll be back before. Hopefully, the song is over. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take. We have some other records that we've never listened to here. So I listened to the. Uh, I think it was. Was it? What was it? Uh, Qui. Qui. Qui, qui zotic? No, I said qui zotic, and then someone was saying it's qui quihotic. Quihotic. So we listened to this one, the Far East Princess, and then we got Fascination someday. Listen to. Fascination's the longest one, so I'm gonna leave this on while I take a break. I'm just gonna make a smoothie and come back, so we'll do that. And then uh, we'll finish the game. I wish I could stand behind the desk here. Can you? Can, cool. Yep, yeah, let's chill right here. <laughs> chill right here with the homie. Let me turn up the music a bit too. All right, I'll see you guys in a handful of minutes. Also, if you do like the stream, you wanna see the main channel, for the YouTube, it's linked right there. The second channel that has the full playthrough, such as this playthrough on it, it'll be uploaded there. So check out the new YouTube for the long plays and other first playthroughs of games and all that. TikTok for clips if you want to see funny edits and clips. Uh, the Discord if you want to know when I go live right away. The Twitter if you want to know when I go live ahead of time. And then the Instagram if you want to see stuff from my life behind the scenes. And I'll be right back.
Les flocons de neige qui brillent dans le ciel Nocturne me réconforte Je t'attends seul dans le noir Je t'attends depuis trop longtemps Je peux t'entendre dans mon cœur All right, guys, we're back. Hopefully the song was good. Ugh. Don Key Show in French. Oh, man. All right, let's do this. Oh, it's vocals. Fox, what's up, man? Also, by the way, dude, hit me up on, uh, if you can, on Discord. Like, right now, if you can, or whenever you have a chance, just to remind me. And I was going to message you about some stuff for uh, this week. Also, okay, wait. Let's switch the record. I want to check the room where Geppetto is. Put on this track. You're going for beating the game tonight, Frosty. This game? How far, how far along are you in it? Play some Lincoln Park. What I've done. <laughs> there you go. As far as me, oh nice. We got the Sherry, is it Sherry? Yeah, Sherry scented letter. A letter that gives off a scent of Cherry. Oh, Cherry, it's actually Cherry, it's not Sherry. I thought it was fancy, my bad. To the wonderful gentleman who gave my precious time back to me. That time I met you was light itself. Whether you're that child or not, I think you're a kind, precious child. Thank you for giving my joy. Wait, look, we have to read this properly. To the wonderful gentleman who gave my precious time back to me. That time I met you was light itself. Whether you're that child or not, I think you're a kind, precious child. Thank you for giving me my joy back in my last moments. To the young gentleman who resembles Carlo, Antonia Saracini. Or Sarasani, my bad. That was really cool, especially with the music playing too. Oh, we got another record. Oh, you can, you can actually use like a little music player. That's cool, you can skip. This is the one she gave us, the memories. Sorry, the memory of Beach. Keep the music up high. I just wanted to make sure that when we go in the boss fight that's coming up, I don't want to make anybody hard of hearing from me just being like, so yeah, we're going to kill the boss. It's just like, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> some nice piano on here. I'm gonna take a wild gander and say she played piano previously because the piano's in her room and she knew one of the she she referenced a chord specifically to get into the the secret tunnel so she knows a little bit about music. What's in the smoothie? Uh, so it's the same one I make almost every day. It's got uh, cherries, blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, um, kefir, a little bit of water, and about a third scoop of vanilla protein powder, about 20 grams. Cherries or sherries, yeah. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> That's not nice, man. <laughs> yeah, I highly recommend it if you guys want to make a good smoothie. This one's pretty damn good. You can make it with coconut water, too. You want those electrolytes. 
those lit electros. Oh, the hammer has like a little bit of a thrust attack. I thought it was going to be like a full on swing. It's like a. It's kind of punchy. Might as well check Geppetto's room while waiting. Yeah, that's a good point. It was worth it. Oh no. Is that you, Dad? Or is that Simon? Oh, that's Simon, I think. Wait, maybe it's not. It's definitely Simon. Simon after he turned into an abomination. What if it's Carlo? Ergo. Is it not magnificent? Distilled immortality and a key that opens a world with no lies. A key. This is what happens when you skip leg day, guys. Crew evolution. And you just kind of like overdo it on the traps, on the shrugs. Lifting the trap bar too much. I don't know how he, he got his hand that big, but yeah, that's... Thanks. <laughs> there goes a gift from me. Make sure to train equally Simon here. Or as best you can. <laughs> Who will transgress even God? Bow down to your God. This guy's terribly scary. He's got like an amusement park ride in his hand. It's like that little thing that you sit in and it like spins around like a little disc pendulum thing. Oh my god. There's like people inside there. Okay, hammer's pretty bad for range. I can hit him a lot of times with it though, which is cool. That strong next attack is interesting too. I think Furious Slash is still better, but I don't, I don't mind the hammer. is so bad on the hammer for the stagger. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try a different weapon after this one. Simon very easy after Lax Mom. Yeah, he's definitely much easier right away. Get it in fewer attempts than Lax. If, okay, if we're going to try to actually seriously get this quick, then I got to use the Puppet Axe again. Or the uh, Frozen Feast, one of the two. I think I'll start off with the Axe and see if we can get it. Gale? 
That scale after he's eaten a few more people and took off the armor. All right, okay, here we go. Let's actually try to like be serious with it. Super serious attempt. Show me everything you have. Pop it up your pento. That was basically cutscene generator. It is evolution. Behold, as I discard this fragile body. Ooh. Witness me as I grasp the power. Of a true God. It's opening. Uh oh. Oh, there's a person in there. Uh oh. This is the weirdest thing I think I've seen in a game, and I've played a lot of horror games before. The ma master hand got an upgrade. Okay, nice. It's been a while since we've uh, we played Super Smash Bros. I guess he's got some friends. No more gloves. To make a look. <laughs> I like how he's doing all this like super slowly, but you could have just killed him during the process, probably, or at least tried to hit him. Like, wh where where is P during this whole thing? He's just like, let me transform. Ugh. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm reaching. I had a feeling that would come back. It's like it couldn't just be a projectile. A Manus projectile. His last name is Manus, by the way, so. Makes sense. Ooh. Okay. Wait, you know what? Know what we can do? Um, this is not going to be flattering, guys. It's not going to be flattering one bit, but we could do this. We could just do this. Seems really dangerous, okay. Spooky! Just feeling it for a second. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Something's going on. Something's going on. Something's going on. Okay. 
just need a little, little tickle. A little tickle for the health, dude. Oh, man. That's a really, really cool phase, too. I wonder how many tries until I reach phase 17. <laughs> well, dude, give it a couple more years, and there's going to be games that have that many phases. It, it, you might as well just like actually like bring like a dinner and eat the dinner during the cutscenes because you're not going to leave the computer or the, the console until like a, a good few hours of one attempt if you actually get good enough on some of these bosses. <laughs> Let it let Show it progress that much. Yeah, I gotta learn this again. We gotta go the the honorable route, and not the cutscene generator route completely, which takes a little bit more finesse. Space that one. Okay, I'm still trying to do custom generator. I gotta come down. Beat him. Thought I beat him to it. Welcome no! To the new world. I got greedy. A world of truth. What level am I? Uh, I think it was 72 the last time I checked. Let me check. You don't have a second controller ready for phase nine. <laughs> Bruford, thank you so much for the prime sub. I appreciate that. Welcome, dude. Uh, 72, yeah. Level 72. Are you ready for phase 16 full chase sequence from here to the beginning of the game? <laughs> Dude, imagine there's like quick time events in the cutscenes and that was like a phase and then in between that like you had to do like a visual novel and then you picked up a Guitar Hero guitar, you played a song Show from the from the actual have. soundtrack and then you finish it off with like a with a team based event with all the NPCs, it's like a war. You have to play its real time strategy. Multi-genre boss, 16 phases. Amazing. That one actually staggers you for a little bit. Yeah, I did this part better this time. He's gonna try to go with overhead. If you want constant pain, I can apply. <laughs> Better yet, how about death? Oh. Could have been it. Could have been it, dude. Still could be it. Still could be it. Still could be it. Still could be it. Beautiful. Had to go for it. Let's learn a little bit about phase two now. That was wild. Jeez. Fit is quite foxy, thank you. <laughs> it, it definitely is. I think the fox mask goes pretty well with the jester set. I thought that I staggered him out of doing the magic so that it wouldn't happen. You're low-key hyped to no level play this game, you know? No leveling on this is gonna be insane. I can't imagine. But yeah, I wanna try it too. 
Okay, I'm gonna save the grindstone for phase two now. And then we'll use a different abrasive in phase one just to get rid of some of the ones we got. I think fire would probably do a little bit better than electricity on this one. It seems like fire does better on human type enemies. Show me everything you have, Papa of Geppetto. Too much damage, please. Okay, perfect. Okay, here we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good start. Grindstone immediately. Oh, he's doing different stuff. He actually mixes it up a little bit. being able to see in this game dude imagine if you could see something how good it would be how helpful it would be. That sounds really bad, but trust me, it's it's for a good cause. <laughs> is this a strength build, Steve? Oh, it is. Yeah, it's the motivity build. Boss tier list on this game? That'd be a really cool video to make, actually. I would love to make a boss tier list for this game, if you guys want to see something like that. I'd totally do that. Been watching Viswa do no leveling, no weapon upgrade. It's brutal. H HCP, dude, honestly, I could see that being also extra brutal because he's probably only played one playthrough of the game, right? Like, I'm assuming he beat it and then he did that right away. I feel like it'd be a bit easier if he had played the game a few times and got used to it, but yeah, jumping into that immediately, it's like... You, you barely know what's going on past the first playthrough. Uh, okay, wait, we have to buy... the buffs from here, I think? Welcome. Well, I guess we can get rid of all this stuff. Just buy a ton of them. Okay, maybe not all of it, but just quite a lot. Get 18 of them. Your cousin just gifted you this game for your birthday. You're so stoked to pick it up once you finish Tears of the Kingdom. Nomad, how long is Tears of the Kingdom? Okay, guys, I'm going to slurp the rest of the smoothie. We did this yesterday and the day before. If, if you don't like slurping sounds, turn it off. I just like to get every last good bit of goodness out of the cup. Oh, 
Oh, that's like a clear bottom on the cup, dude. I can see through it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Everybody says ASMR, but I genuinely just don't want to have to, like, tab out of the game, pot mute the mic. I guess, like, oh, you know what? I could turn off the phantom power to the mic. I could turn off, like, the the power signal that it gets to operate. That would be a good idea. <laughs> Show me Make that emote with a smoothie? That'd be a really good idea, actually. I should definitely do that. I was thinking of a smoothie emote, but I'm like, how would I make it look? This guy, you know, you know who this guy looks like, actually? I just realized. Dude, he, he looks like, um, like, when Geodude evolves. Like, the final, is it the final form? Graveler. When Graveler evolves into Golem, dude. He looks like Golem when you trade a Graveler in Pokemon. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> I just realized. Yeah, go, go, Golem, yeah. Legit. <laughs> Golem with a hat, yeah. It's Behold, Father Gascoin Golem collab. As I discard this fragile body. It's like, what I evolved to my final form after being traded through generation three and four. Oh no. Uh oh. Let's not die too quickly now. Forgetting about the extra swing there. There's a lot of extra attacks on this way. Yeah, I'm getting like way too relaxed with this one. Oh my god. Why'd I forget that? Yeah, I got that one. <laughs> Wish you could go back and kill Doggo Guy. You can't. Oh, you didn't kill him? You actually let him live? Did you think that he was, like, evil after what he said, though? Do you, you talk to him fully and then still let him live? How did this dude turn into a monster? It says in uh, some of the notes here. I don't know if I, I think I picked up the book. It explains in the backstory he uh, he used the, the ergo to transform himself. He said he wanted to be immor immortal, essentially. So I guess he used some of the the siphoning of the ergo to transform. How long I've been on Manus for family? Uh, this is probably like the fifth or Show sixth try now. You have, a little bit. I had a really good first couple attempts, and then I kind of I don't know. I got a little greedy. I'm having a hard time parrying some of the attacks. I don't know if they're supposed to be weird to parry. I was, I was getting them pretty decently in the beginning. Yeah, that one's a thing. They're very delayed. And then some of them look the same, too. It's got a lot of similar looking attacks. I gotta wait, I gotta let him do his thing. Pain, 
Everything's a lot slower than I'm thinking, so I gotta wait a bit. Except for the overhead attack, of course. Of course that wouldn't be. Oh no, I miss. Get over here. Oh my god, it took forever, but finally. I need to farm that... that vial. Oh no, this is going to be a really scary phase too. Anybody beat this fight with rolling? I could imagine that. I could see it being pretty cool with rolling. You dodge for most second phase? I can imagine. I can imagine that being better. Outfit changes always helped you. It's like a mental buff. All right, we're going to go back to the original outfit then that we had before this one. Is he a human or a carcass? He was a human. And then now he's part god. Oh, I had an extra amulet slot the whole time. What am I even doing here? Oh no. Uh. Yeah, physical damage reduction. Why would we not have that? How much does it increase by, though? I think I checked before. Oh, it's actually quite a bit. Yeah, we want that. It's a good idea. How do you kill the swamp monster thing? You're stuck on that? Uh, there's not really a trick that I found for anything. I literally just killed it. Uh, just parried it. Par learn how to parry almost every attack, and then... Um, fire is, is actually a better buff on it, I feel, than anything else. I think fire is, is actually the best on it. Correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone knows better. And I didn't even really use the Legion Arm. I literally just... Uh, I did a lot of charged R2 attacks on it when there was openings, and I parried a lot of the attacks. Put the red ring on? The assassin one? Or we're talking about this one? Recharge? Show me everything you have, Papa of Japanto. I'm almost shocked by how long there is to attack in between some of these. Things. And it still doesn't really help that much. <laughs> well, at least not right now. I swear when I hit him, I heard a tiny voice inside of him. Like, I might be wrong. I thought I heard something. I 
I know if I learn the fairies on this, it'll be a done deal. It's gonna carry over. are just so delayed, dude. Like, they're, like, weird delays. He's, like, running with the weapon for a while. Oh, you can, you can parry that, too. Okay. What did you pick for Sophia? I picked to let her live. Everyone's favorite combo for this, for like a build. Do you think this is better than Lords of the Fallen story gameplay wise? I actually haven't beaten Lords of the Fallen, Rob, so I've only played it for two hours, so. Um, so far, I mean, this game's amazing. It's my game of the year. But I could not tell you fairly until I beat it. So we'll, we'll be playing more Lords of the Fallen. If I beat this today, we'll do a full stream of Lords of the Fallen tomorrow and get further on that as well. Okay, grind, grindstone on this phase, and then the abrasive on the second phase. How about that? Yeah, I can hear like a little tiny voice when I hit him sometimes. It's really funny, actually. Like, eh, sounds like a cat. <laughs> Did anybody else notice that on the first playthrough? Or am I just tripping out right now? I was super lucky, the positioning there. Alright, really good phase one. We're back into the cutscene generator here. Jeez. Attack is evil. Of course it is, Streamer. It's the last boss in the game. He's a villain. I know, I know. It's all good. That was not God Gaming, that was scary. For some reason, I just feel like I'm very behind at this point for the amount of attempts on learning how to parry the attacks in general, because they're just so slow. But I also can't, like, I can't really pick up, I, I don't know why, this guy's, like, been the hardest to parry in general consistently for me. It could be, like, the shape of the weapon, like, what he's doing, and the fact the weapon's behind him when he's attacking, it's not actually in front of him. So it's, it's, I feel like I'm gonna beat the second part with dodging instead. For now, at least. I don't know. That seems smarter Show to me. me everything you have. Stagger grindstone? Oh, I didn't even know there was a stagger grindstone. That's that sounds pretty cool. Oh, 
can also just do that. <laughs> See, I can hit those. So silly! Jeez. So silly. Stay away from the circle this time. Just be cool. Be chill, dude. Stay away from the hand. Uh, if you can do that. I forgot, I forgot, dude. He keeps going. He does not stop, there's no chill. Oh my god. Charger too. Don't run towards the light. Yeah, I'm learning that at least. Jeez. Am I using an acid weapon? I have a, a regular weapon, but I'm putting acid on it though. Clapped a few bosses for 6,000 damage at a full charge. Wow. Uh, Fable Bar bonus amulet is 20% bonus. Do I have the Fable Bar one? I don't. Oh, far bottom left. I actually do? Really? This one? Oh, weapon attack in proportion to Fable slots. I thought you were talking about something else. Like, you actually get more increase of Fable. I was looking for that. My bad. 9.3, so... Hmm, that's pretty heavy. We'd have to switch this for... I don't even know if that would even be worth it. Hmm. I'd have to take off like a whole amulet to altogether. It's super worth it, you think so? Why are you using the weight amulet? Should have flat five slots. Yeah, I have four right now. With five slots, it's 20%. I only have three fable bars as well. Maybe it's not I don't think it's even gonna make a big difference. Because my fable bars aren't at the point where they're like, it's scaling it as much, but the trade-off on the amount of defense I'm actually getting from having the iron wall and then this frame as well. 12%, that doesn't really seem like it'd be a worthwhile trade for the defense though, because my damage is still pretty good. Show me everything you have. Up when you think about it. I just need to learn how to play the fight better. Oh, 
he robbed me on one right there. She wraps around completely. I was hoping that it didn't. I just want to get the acid to activate immediately. I also know I can get a stagger pretty early too. Like that. The fuck is that attack? Oh, I paired that one. Maybe there's more. That was a clincher. So I, I, I have to honestly say I'm not good at that boss fight. That was probably the worst. I'm probably the worst at that boss fight of any of the ones we've completed on this game. So I, I don't take like a glorified win on that one, but I'll take the win overall, though. The win on the other one was much cleaner, but yeah, damn. The blue fairy, Sophia. Besides the third phase <laughs> truly I envy you the puppet my Sophia keeps turning back time to save is it her sense of duty or her contempt for me or does she truly care for you turning back time I gave up predicting Sophia's actions long ago but I'd like to hear your thoughts. Sophia, what have you done to her? Sophia, I've seen the lies have gotten to you. I didn't I didn't give her peace though. I said what are you talking about? I know how to read memories. Your clumsy lies. Sly Muff Hugger, thank you so much for the, the prime sub. I appreciate it. So let's try Welcome. the truth. Knowing the truth of people's minds is Liberated is the truth. I would not have been able to bear it if it weren't for Sophia. Her pure heart was a tonic for my pain. That's why I wanted So her. uh I uh, Capatriani, we're, we're doing the I only honesty playthrough. I've only lied once by accident. Outside the first one. So I tried to use this hour to hold her. He How's he talking? His, his human head is down on the bottom right there. On the left side. It's fine if I'm gone. But be warned. Watch out for Gilberto. Uh-oh. 
Arm of God, which is a key item. Arm of God obtained after defeating Simon Manus. It is a mysterious relic that alchemists treated as a sacred object. The alchemists believed that there was once a god who ripped to shreds, trying to give immortal life to the humans he so loved, and he, they wanted to revive him. However, the god who was deep in sleep never answered their prayers. Sophia means wisdom, random facts. That's a pretty cool translation there. The outfit change would work, it actually did. I didn't even change it properly. I used the wrong the wrong set. Damn. I needed this. He really scared this me. A human becoming a god? Terrifying. But a puppet becoming a human? Now you have my attention. Suit yourself, but it sounds fun to me. I wonder. What'll happen now? I sure don't know. I saw the secret boss claim. But I do know it's, one it's all good. Thing. You guys can talk to me if you want to. With me. I already and know there's another I'm ending if you want to. Wouldn't have it any other way. I don't want like details on who the boss is, but like you can talk about like that kind of stuff. That's fine. Did we get the nose? So I actually I told the truth the whole time. Other than just like a couple times, like one time by accident, one time ne out of necessity to get in the hotel. Huh? That's it's Lady Maria. So I get an evil ending if I tell the truth, is what you're saying. I knew you could do it. We have all the ingredients we need. I dreamed of this day for so long. The moment you'd come back to life. Oh, I miss this. Ooh, I did. You can be human again. By using that vast supply of ergo and the arm of God. I just need the final ingredient. The one that holds your memories and your lifespan. Your heart. Wait, he said human again. Was, were we human before? Heart, all these trials and tribulations will be over. You have been a brilliant and a good boy. He said human again. As your reward, I shall turn you into a real boy. He was, he was implying that we already were a real boy, like, previously son. to the game, though. He said again. I believed you were a good boy. But you insist on breaking my heart. Well, I suppose Carlo was mischievous. It seems you inherited his personality instead of his memories. Oh, okay, Carlo. I see. But a father always looks after his children. Even naughty ones that must be punished like you. In my own way, I grew to love you. After all, you're the puppet who would bring my son back to life. That's an honest uh, quest to, to embark on, to try to get the son back. I respect the guy a little bit. I'm disappointed. I didn't mean for this to happen. Just cost the I lives of an entire town. Yeah, I mean, you, were you guys would do it too right now. <laughs> I'm joking. Evil Pepetto. If you refuse, then I'll have to retrieve it myself. Anne's looking a little gray there. Spooky fingernails. Uh-oh. Again, all these people are, are doing such long animations where he could just go and kill him while he's doing that. My son. Oh shit. I 
That's creepy. You can become a real human. Come to me, my son. I never bound you to the Grand Covenant like the other puppets because of Carlo's memories within you. I knew you could not betray you troublesome little puppet. Your freedom is not for you. There's no other way. Ah. If you can't find those memories, I'll meet you into a real first try almost. Romeo tried to warn us, warn us, he did, yeah, that's true. <sighs> Didn't grab the checkpoint, so yeah, I wonder if I'm gonna have to go back down here again. The first try luck. <laughs> oh, it brings me back here, though. So, yeah, the, the gazer, I guess, is automatic. Like, someone was saying in chat. Damage output's insane. It is pretty good for the, the levels we got. We got 30 motivity. I think I'm going to increase health one more. Which probably doesn't really matter too much at this point. And then we'll, we'll put on... I don't... Oh, yeah, the acid won't do anything, will it? Because he's a puppet. Or, no, he's a real person, though. He's good. He is a real person. Never mind. You can become a real human. Come to me, my son. I never bound you to the Grand Covenant like the other puppets because of Carlo's memories within you. It's cool how it has the strings on them. I like that. Strings are a really cool detail. Alright, there's phase one. Freedom is not for you, but for Carlo. Almost skipped the cutscene by accident. Are you so good at parrying back? I'm, I'm, I'm very decent with parrying human looking enemies. It's just like that last guy was very weird. Oh. Phase two. Okay. Let's, let's see how this is. How dare you? You're just a puppet. Nothing more. Oh, yeah, we got speed. Okay. Got some speed.
cool fight. Very cool fight. Uh, not off the wall, not off the wall. Okay, we got him. Oh. That had me a little tense. Phase, phase four? Phase three? God gamer. That's what I mean. I don't know why it took so long on the other guy. I'm not saying I actually am a god gamer, but like the build is so good that we have for this that there's no way I would have had a hard time on the the last guy, the actual last guy, if if I had just learned how to parry him a bit better, like just for a few of the attacks. That was really good. Thank you guys. I think I have a lot of damage though, and I do I do have a really good build. So I'm not claiming I, I understand the whole fight or anything. I'm not gonna be able to go back level one and do that <laughs> in like an hour. It's gonna take a long time. <laughs> He took you four days, Bolt, really? Ooh. I'm glad we got a bonus enemy, that's cool. I didn't expect there was gonna be more. He he was definitely one of the coolest fights in the game too, even though like we kind of breezed through it a little bit. I would say that one. Uh the uh Le Lexasia and King of Puppets top three, easy. First tried him. That wasn't. That was second try. Useless. Technically. Puppet. Took you seven attempts. Your heavy attack is crazy. Lakoto. Seven attempts is really good too. I got kind of lucky on it. So. We're not counting the first one. <laughs> we we can count the first one. Because I learned I learned a little bit about the first one, even with that one heal. Dude, that was awesome. In honor of the great writer Carlo Collodi, Round 8 Studios. That was a sick game, dude. That was so good. I'm very happy we completed that. You just got the middle of the three endings, so not worse, not the best. Okay. Wait till after the end of this. Alright, if you guys could give a rating in chat out of 10 for the game, what would you rate it? Curious. 10? 9.5, 12, a 12, 8, 9. There's a lot of nines. It's safe to skip the credits, you get the after scene. I'm just curious. Yeah, I wanna I wanna take a second to just see what you guys will rate it. Okay. Nice. That's insane. So I rated a 9 out of 10. That was that was a like top five favorite games of all time for me. It, but right next to Sekiro, Bloodborne. Um, Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring, so take the fifth place. And it's it's like, it's pretty damn close to tying with Dark Souls 1, I would say. Yeah, tied with DS1, yeah. It's really hard to say Bloodborne would, wouldn't be better, just because I'm such a fan of Bloodborne. It's almost like, I'm like, a hyper fan of that game. But this game's mechanics are actually really good, though. I think the gameplay was better than a lot of those games. And they I guess they had like a modern take on it. They were able to like get the the lead on it because it was made in 2023. Anyways, guys, if you want to see the full playthrough of this, by the way, again, there is a, a second YouTube channel that I just made recently, and I have all of my first plays going on there and every single piece of long form content that's not edited down for the main channel. So this full playthrough will be on there as well as Lords of the Fallen as well. If you guys want to watch them in the future, um, that's the link to follow. Definitely sub to it. And the main YouTube channel is in the socials command. I'm going to be doing a video comparing should you consider getting this or Lords of the Fallen and how they stack up together and also against all of the other Souls games as well. Just my overall review of, of both the games once I finish Lords of the Fallen. So that second YouTube or the main YouTube channel is in that first command. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll we'll see what the final scene is here. Thank you so much again for everyone that actually tuned into all the streams watching this. It's been probably the most fun I've had streaming in a long time since Elden Ring. Your findings? I think we have a new brother, a new type of humanity, so to speak. There are many forms of eternal life. It's intriguing and worth further observation. Noted. And um, we'll have to get his arm back anyway. I'm counting on it. Expect another report at the next meeting. Paracelsus returning. Ah, 
And when I return, I will find her. For sure. Another key of ours. Dorothy. Did he pretend to be sick the whole game, guys? Did he just want us to give the golden fruit? Wizard of Oz? What? Wizard of Oz DLC or second game? That's crazy, wow. If you start the next playthrough, you won't be able to continue the current playthrough. Wish to proceed. All items below will not be inherited. All collectibles except records. Cross supply boxes and Benini collections. I'm going to say... Uh, B, I don't wish to... Yeah, don't do it. Because there's still some stuff to do in the main part of this. Which we can we can do some of those right now. You pretended to be sick, main antagonist. That's interesting. Um, Yopis, thank you so much for the, the bits. I appreciate that. It was kind of obvious he had no real symptoms. I noticed that. I was going to call bullshit on him before, but then I'm like, ah, oh, he seems kind of nice. I don't know. Got tricked into it. So we have uh, Baron Swamp. We got to teach the broken puppet some more emotes. And then there's that shack in the woods that I got to go to. The bad ending. I don't want to know, Valoria. I'm not looking. I didn't see anything. I wanted to wait until I play the game again. Spoilers. <laughs> I, I, I immediately erased everything from my brain. What said. Come to tell me? Use the frozen feast for a bit. You haven't seen what it does, Jim. So basically, as you attack, it gets faster. It sheds the exterior on it. And then you can press Y to shed all of the rocks off of the outside of it. It just becomes a sword on the inside. Um, I can use it. Yeah, sure. Uh, when I go to the shack to get that other quest thing. It feels good. Like Hope you didn't read. I read, I read some of it, yeah. It is a brilliant feeling. Like the start of spring. Thanks. Is this guy gonna become not broken if I just keep Hello, teaching him stuff? Hello, my only Hello, my Hello, my only Frefre. What did you come to tell me? Frefre friend. Are we Frefre 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 friends, 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 friends? Kills you right after. <laughs> Guess we can level again too. Vitality. Um, do I have to warp? No, wait. Sorry, there is no more stuff to teach him. Oh, there's there's something over here too. Rosa Isabel Street entrance. What is this one? Was it? Was there an NPC that said they were gonna head there? Oh, it was the guy that was in the the tomb or the the tower. The tower. I'm missing an emote. Oh, okay. I see. Shopkeeper? The test subject guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have that, and then we still have the photo that has the shack. That robot is you in real life. <laughs> the remix. So I'm not sure where he is. Here, we'll switch the weapon up. I think I'll probably kill these guys pretty easily if there even is any enemies over here to kill. Easier to find them from the Culvert Stargazer? Really? That's yeah, a one shot now. Damn. So yeah, as you hit the enemies, the, all the rock on the exterior sheds here. You can see it's blue on the inside. This is still way fast. Well, check this out. So now it's super fast. That's the speed if you shed all of it. And then you can do that naturally anyways. But that's the Y button. Have I finished every cryptic vessel? I don't think I did, no. Did I go to Hermit's Cave? I'm not sure, actually. There's probably quite a few more things I could do. This way is still the fastest. Okay, so which way do I go from the burning gate here? To get to the, uh... The guy. 
Moonlight Greatsword reference. I'm not sure if it's Moonlight Greatsword. I think it's like just an original weapon, but it's kind of cool because it, it actually gets better as you use it. The shortcut. Always on the bridge. So up the stairs onto the bridge. I'm not sure which way the bridge was. I think that's just like an extra area. That weapon is sick. It's actually really strong too. It hits for a lot of damage. Okay, here we go. Hey! Over here! I missed the big clown dude. I want to fight him again. He was kind of jittery at first right there. He was doing some weird thing. It looked like he was shivering. Nice to see you again. I thought if I got a second chance, I'd go to where my heart's content. I never expected to get out alive. Oh, it's overwhelming, even now. Want to take a look What's at going what on, Kagami? I have? How are you doing? I grabbed a couple of things before taking off. It's a new life, a new attitude, and simple pleasures like ordinary conversation. Nice loot, yeah? If you need anything, just say the word. All right, let's talk. Any reason for coming here? I used to be a fan of the actress Patricia. Not the red actress Adelina, but her sister. Patricia had an angelic voice like her sister. If she'd become famous, they would have called her the White Goddess. Uh, but her career was cut short. She took poison and ruined her throat. Uh, I've only read others' memories, so I, I don't know the details. I heard she was killed by a puppet. The memories people had of her songs. <laughs> you should have heard her voice in her prime. Something transcendent like that. The only hurt song I heard was the song Makes of death. you feel alive. <laughs> I survived. So I'm seeking out experiences like that. So, any more questions? Uh, what he saw. Did I go sightseeing? You bet I did. It's the heart of Krat. The theater, the Ferris wheel. There's so much to see. Although, most of it has burned down now, I suppose. Hmm. The most fascinating thing. I couldn't believe it. The writing on the back of a made puppet. I have read memories, but still, any way you look at it, it's the made puppet's words. Probably designed like that. What kind of puppet would write that stuff? Still, it was weird. You should see it for yourself. Okay, interesting. Nice loot, yeah? Let's see what he has. He's tweaking a little bit, yeah, he was. <laughs> Uh, Mama Milk, what's up? Want to see me playing the game? When did you start? Uh, I started it, um, I think it was eight days ago. So this is the eighth day. We beat it today. And then now we're just doing like a, a few things before I go into New Game Plus with this character. Yes, yeah, he's still tweaking. He was like, shoulder was doing something funny. It's got the nerve, the nerve uh, twitch here. But yeah, welcome back, Mama. How are you doing? Uh, the full playthrough of this will be on the second YouTube channel that I just made for all like the, the long form content. So this it'll be uploaded in the next couple weeks there if you want to watch the whole thing back. Uh, otherwise, you can watch the VOD from today or the previous ones. But there is a command if you type in exclamation point YT2 and you can follow it for any of the things you might have missed that won't be on the main YouTube channel. Oh, he's got the Carcass Crystal Axe Blade. Interesting. And the latest disruption cartridge. White lady's hunting apparel. Cool. Actually, I, I like that because we have the mask. So, I want to get the cartridge too. Let me let me sell something. Yeah, that's definitely cool. I like that. We just need, like, a legion arm that's white. And then we could also use this weapon, too, to match everything. Extended version. That's a, that's a cool aesthetic there. I like that. Oh my god, you're gonna blow up the merchant? Calm down. The drip, yeah. <laughs> As the children say these days. 
can really watch you on Twitch because you sleep at this time, so you mainly watch YouTube, then yeah, definitely sub to the second YouTube then. Type in exclamation point YT2. I don't know if that command's working for everybody. Or just exclamation point socials. It's the last link in the socials command. Isn't the falcon eye white? I don't think I have that weapon. Yeah, at least not right here. I want to see... Oh my god, that thing's huge. Oh, that's cool. Go see Dead Lady Puppet. <laughs> just just to pay respects? I already did the quest line with that. I got the... I gave the guy the ring. Oh, falconize the arm. My bad. Oh, she says something here. I love you, Julian. Wow, she was real after all. Uh, Zia, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I appreciate that. I hope you enjoy your moats. Welcome. Alright, so what we're going to do is go back and try to find... There's like a little note that I got saying something about there's a shack that I have to access. And I don't know if there's an item in there or whatever. That's the only other thing I know about that I can do right now. And then I think we're pretty much good for today. We could always come back and do some more stuff, but... Uh, that means that we're going to continue Lords of the Fallen tomorrow for the whole stream and get as much playtime in on that. Uh, and then I'm going to be leaving for TwitchCon on Thursday. Is anybody in chat going to be at TwitchCon that I don't know about already? I think it was the Malum District. Wait, was it Path of the Pilgrim? I think it might have been here. If you listen to enough records, you don't have to always lie. Oh, really? You got the Platinum Trophy today? Nice. Nice. I'm glad you enjoyed the game. Deathless runs when, Raichu? I don't know. I, I'm going to try to do a speed run first, I think. And then try to do a challenge run of some sort. Enjoying out of 10. 9 out of 10, dude, for this game. This game's amazing. Better than DS2. Better than uh, Demon Souls. For sure. Speedruns, let's run the same category, Vsweat. I'm down, dude. We could have a race. Uh, which category are you trying to run? Okay, so where is the shack that's in this picture? I have the, the note here. Uh, it says... An, an old shack in the tomb slums in Malum District. Tomb, maybe it's a little bit further. I might be somewhere else use the lift look for the bleak tree and laundry line and enter the shack next to them it's near the gazer is it this one right here go down the elevator oh the area where the monster was where it broke the wall okay not trying yet, but you definitely want to do glitchless. I would be down to, to do some glitchless as well. I was saying that. Because usually what happens when I do runs with glitches, it immediately makes me want to do glitchless as well. So I was debating if, if I want to start off with that. It's the gazer before this one. This is the first gazer. I, have, I haven't even watched anything. No, I'm, I literally have not seen a person play this game other than you. But you were behind where I was when I was watching. Because he did the level one run. This game can be ran in under an hour. That's pretty impressive, but I guess like with the FromSoft games overall, their their playthroughs could be like a hundred hours, and you could run, for example, Elden Ring can be ran, ran in what like under two hours for everything, uh, or sorry, all the remembrances, like an hour and a half or less, and then any percents like nothing. Use the gap in the middle of the lift. You can zip in the game. So wait, you have to keep going down here. It's down there, why'd you go back? Take lift down and go into the large area. You guys are confusing. I can, so I can get to the area either way. Maybe that's why there's the confusion. There's a door while going down to the lift. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I'm supposed to jump out of it? Or 
Or this this door right here? No, it's not really the thing. The lift is a shortcut, okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, I see. Ooh. <clears throat> and then from here, we're looking for a tree and we're looking for a laundry line. <laughs> this weapon's so good. Okay, I, f I found it. It's right here. Got it. There's a shortcut over there, too. How did you find this place? They sent you, didn't they? Those guys blabber about loyalty, but when the chips are down, they'll stab each other in the back. I don't know what's inside, and I don't really care. Take it with you and hurry. Robber shack key. Ooh. And then where's that key go to? Opens a shack in the tomb slums. Is it right here? Oh, nice. Streamer, you're going the wrong way. You went to talk to him first, but you're supposed to look to the right to see the door, and now you don't know where the key goes, streamer. Go back. Go back. <laughs> Oh man. Or I could I could just like impersonate Viswa to be like, yeah, Squill, I was uh, I was doing the level one run and I noticed like after taking a break and being so good at the game compared to you, I saw you doing that thing with the resident in the tomb slums and you, you went past the door, buddy. I don't know why you were doing that. Like you kinda you kinda like fell like the wrong way and chat was trying to troll you or something like that, man, and like I just uh yeah. <laughs> I was watching, it was kinda painful to watch. I don't know. Let strength be ground <laughs> so the world might be mended. So we have to have a, a, a meetup with Vsweed when he I go to TwitchCon, like and then I have to impersonate him, and then he has to say something right after on a video. That'd be amazing. Please do it, dude. So, okay, so Vsweed, uh, Fox AMT is going to be coming to hang out, and then K Witty is also going to be there, too. So if you want to hang out with both of us as well, just for a little bit, you're welcome to, because there should be some free time in between. Uh, I don't know if you're going to get a ticket to the actual convention or not. Like, that's not really the priority for me. It's just something I'm going to do just to check out, but we are going to be hanging out as well. And then Kay Whitty's also going to the event that we're going to later. So, um, yeah, he's going to probably be with me for a little bit. Yeah, his shack is right next to him. That's true. All right, so we're good. Cool. If you didn't open the room behind... Oh, no, is there something else? Oh, it wasn't even this one. Oh, so I was actually making a joke and it, it was the wrong one the whole time. Let strength be granted <laughs> so the world might be mended. Oh god. It's it's right there, isn't so the it? World it's, might be mended. it's right there. <laughs> Ten tense voice actor impersonator. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. Uh, you got four. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh no. This is pretty bad. <laughs> I wish I was making this up. That's pretty bad. And I got baited after I went to my team. Oh no, dude. Uh, Guillermo, thank you so much for the resub, dude. Thank you for the 40 months. Welcome back. 10 out of 10 voice actor slash impersonator. I'm, I'm trying. Trying to get better. I appreciate that. Have you been playing this at all? Well, actually, no. You told me. You said you were... You were at a part that I was on... I think it was a handful of days ago. If you avoid the trap, there's a secret dialogue. Oh yeah. Did you find that on the first playthrough or on the or on the second playthrough? It makes a lot of sense that why this shortcut would be put here to foil the plans of the resident. Oh. <laughs> I fell for it again, dude. <laughs> I didn't jump immediately. I did. <laughs> I'm not trying to actually do this on purpose, I swear. 
I'm not actually trying to do this on purpose. I thought there was at least like maybe a couple feet of runway before you had to jump over the hole, I swear. Simply avoid the hole. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> I can't I can't guarantee we're gonna do it this time, but I'll try though. Okay, there we go, we're fine. Redemption. Yeah, two tries on Nameless Puppet, but can't jump, can't avoid hole. <laughs> oh, Life Amulet plus one, nice. So that's gonna be switched right now. What's the difference? Let's see. So we need to change to HP. We got 596 at a 621. 656 versus 621, nice. Nameless was second try. Yeah, I got, um, I got, okay, wait, so what was your hardest boss we sweat now that I played the whole game? What was the hardest one for you? Took him more tries against Hole in the Floor. Luxasia, how long did that take you? I'm curious, because, like, I was asking people if I would be able to beat the game yesterday or today, and they were saying if you didn't have too much trouble. Now I can understand why I wouldn't have been able to beat it yesterday. Took five hours? Okay, I so I took like 40 minutes on that one. And then I took, like, I don't know why, but on Simon I took a little bit longer. Oh, maybe, maybe about half an hour on Simon to 40 minutes. And then, yeah, the puppet was like two tries. So is is the puppet just as hard as uh, Lexasia? Or is it like significantly easier? Do you hate the Black Rabbit Brotherhood? I actually like them. Um, that fight was good. Both of them. I like the uh, the second fight a lot better. Go trade the boss souls. True. You can do that. You say Lax is strongest, but you're no pro yet. I kind of got lucky on some of them. My build was pretty good. Oh, fuck. Did I scare you? It's me, Hugo. This whole thing has inspired me. I'm going to try to be the Aladoro of a new generation. Oh, nice. I will also keep looking for the relic's true owner. Check in with me anytime. A great weapon calls for a great. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no pronouncements aren't my thing. That's so As funny. always, prove that you're worthy. He's just like, I am Ali. Do I mean, huh? You want to buy a weapon? <laughs> um. All right. Nameless puppet ergo immunity. To all attributes, status, ailments. Whoa! That sounds pretty good. Get the fallen one. The nameless puppet weapon. Hmm. What is this amulet? Dude, it's 14.5 it's weight, but immunity to all attribute, status, ailments. I'm assuming that's a better decision than the... I can, yeah, I can just get the sword the next time, or in the future. I want to get the amulet. And then this one... A in motivity. Noblest oblige. Uh, downward blow. Consume a set amount of ergo to deal big damage to enemies. What? Allows you to temporarily withstand an enemy attack. I want to get this one. That sounds like a pretty damn good weapon. The big unga chunga stick. Go look at the picture in your dad's room. It's French. Is it noblesse or no no noblesse? No bless you. If you sneeze, there's no bless you. <laughs> the pic. Oh my god. That's funny. There's like an actual, like a coat hanger. On his nose. Bonk with puppet string is way to go. It's accentuated on the first E. Nobly, nobly say, nobly say, nobly say. Piano, please. Okay, we'll go with the piano as well. Noblesse. I thought you only told truths. I, I thought I did too. Oh wow. I 
can definitely play this in real life. Applied a decent amount for that nose. I only told the initial one and then like two other ones that I know of I at max, right? Look, when I do my first concert, I'm gonna wear this outfit. Do I play piano? No, I, I, I play guitar and I, I just got a drum set actually to start playing drums again. Like an electronic kit, which I will be streaming. I'll be streaming some uh, Clone Hero custom pro drums. Three cymbals, three toms, one snare, and then I'm gonna get the double bass eventually for Expert Plus. Play some uh, some progressive rock and metal and other things. Where you guys can at least see this the music happening and I can get better at it, but uh, that is something I acquired, so I've just been trying to set that up. And then, yeah, I do play guitar as well. So there'll be, there's actually going to be a music channel that I have dedicated to all the music from now on. Because I was uploading a lot of music to the main channel for a while. Then I stopped and people want to see more of it. So there will be a music channel that's a third YouTube channel in that socials command. Not this week. Um, sometime next week it'll be set up. And then hopefully I can get something recorded for it within the end of next week. Because I have a lot of stuff practiced on guitar to do some game music, some transpositions of... Uh, Legend of Zelda, Final Fantasy. Um, I might do some Bloodborne music as well. Like I was gonna learn the, the German OST again because I used to know how to do that. I have uh, some anime music from SAO, Elephant Lied. Uh, might do some other covers of that and have my own music. And yeah, so that's gonna be like the first handful of videos, just those kind of things. And then I'm also learning some animals as leaders as well, like uh, on Impulse, the, the classical part of it. So I have that done and learned. I just need to like practice it to get a good take on it. Look at the falcon arm with your outfit. Okay. Oh yeah, we have to go and change it at the gazer. Trying to get into playing again as you've played for a decade, but you're on a halt for three years. For piano maiden? Is that what you're saying? What handle was being used at the live puppet axe? The bramble curve sword. So yeah, I don't have the falcon arm. French horn and piano. Ooh, that's cool. What level am I at? Uh, let's see. 74 at the moment. Might be able to make it. Okay, let's try to make it. You do 40 damage on King of Puppets. Guillermo, what are you... Dude, what upgrade level are you at? How did you even get there? <laughs> and, and dude... Have you gone to the blacksmith? <laughs> That's how do you do forty damage on him? Yeah, because you said you're on pl you had plus two damage on uh, on something before that, right? Uh, was it on Saint Andreas or something else? I'm trying to th I'm trying to think. You said you were somewhere with plus two, and I'm like, dude, you you could have plus five to like maybe even plus six seven. Didn't upgrade any of your arms. Uh, I upgraded the full mini fully. That was the one I used the most. Using the plus two coil stick? Yeah, dude, go to the blacksmith, man. <laughs> you probably already have the materials to get the upgrades, if you haven't checked. Oh, you got the dagger on plus six. Okay, I don't know what the dagger's like. Craft legion arm. Falcon eyes, here we go. Oh, there we go, nice. Then we got the Aegis. Let's make that as well. Andemonium. Let's make that as well. This one. Let's make that one as well. I don't even know what the name is. Actually, we can't. De Deus, Deus X Machina. Don't have a Legion plug anymore. Rip. I'll have to buy another one. Okay, let's see if we can modify. We definitely can modify. We have some calibers. Falcon's just like a cannon. Yeah, I want that one almost fully upgraded because the next playthrough we're just gonna wear this armor. I want to match. Makina. Welcome Did I say it correctly? I'm pretty sure that's how I said it, right? Makina. I'm gonna purposely pronounce things in this game wrong for the whole second playthrough, guys. Usually pretty good at these games, but you barely chip away at it. 
so discouraging. Yeah, you definitely need to have a way higher upgrade level by then. That would be like you playing Ornstein and Smo with a plus three weapon or something like that. <laughs> it, it would not go down well. Actually, it would be even worse, probably. Defeated the game. Uh, Lethe the Furious, welcome back. Yeah, we beat it just like maybe 15 minutes ago or so. And then now I'm just doing some extra stuff, but I think we're pretty much done for today. I'm just going to switch the Legion arm, see how this looks. I never made this one. That definitely matches pretty well. This is a really cool outfit. I wish I had white boots as well, though. Not a fan of the black boots as much. You could buy a cryptic vessel there. Are you crazy? Let me see. Welcome. Yep. This we are all in pain. We're all hurting. But now it's time to begin healing. I am Vanini. I build everything I back when people are down. I can to help. Together, compagno. I think we really can make Krat, if not the entire world, a better place. They burned down the hotel and I, b I build it again. You're always welcome here. End of the rusty cryptic oh, vessel. Let's thank see. Thank you for coming. I was going a bit stir crazy, as the poets say, cooped up in the hotel. Why don't I read the contents? Oh, I'm sick and tired of reading conversations between society's elite. Hide these, kill that, steal those. It's all the same. And the people who want them deciphered act as if Favorite it's the end of the world the if they can't read them Incoming. immediately. <laughs> Tiresome. I am a simple, albeit brilliant man. Solving the code is what makes me happy. And with a friend at my side, what more is there to wish for? Perhaps sometimes I share too much. 16,000 ergo for, for each level is not that bad at Little all. Little extra for you in there, my friend. It's really not that bad. I just noticed that. I'm like, dude, that's like not that far off from where I'm at right now. I'm in the level 70 range. That's 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 pretty doable still. You can get a lot of ergo, especially on New Game Plus and beyond. I'm sure you get more, right? Unless they don't do that. Orders. Find the cave blocked off by metal bars. I know where that is. There's a place called Hermit's Cave. An old man who went crazy after losing his family locked up himself to pray. It's strange in this age to hear about such medieval sounding stories in Krat, but one thing is clear. It's a good place to hide treasure. Let's forget about the crazy old man. Hide the stolen goods and take them back out once it quiets down. Who in their right mind would imagine there's treasures deep in a cave in a barren swamp? Once this panic is over, we'll be rich with the things we squirreled away. That kid's clothes seemed like good quality too. Maybe that Wolf girl fixed them up. So I know where that is. That's a pretty easy one. Level 280? That's People are that high of a level on this? What is happening right now? I think it was... Uh, no, not Baron Swamp Entrance. Right before? No. There's a shortcut. We actually went and sent the thing down the cart, so it could be... I think it's the entrance. Oh, bridge? Baron Bridge? You're not crazy for once, Maya. Well, you you did uh, did invent the sneeze dab, which is pretty pretty sane, if you ask me. I think people need to change their form when sneezing these days for safety and just for style too, right? Everyone else sneezing just in the tissues and stuff. Like the fact that you sneeze like this, like I want to go outside and see the public doing that in 2024. Um, I'll make sure to tell everybody about it. And if anyone else pr tries to take credit and say they invented it first, I'm, I'll, we'll, we'll just we'll put them in this cave right here. We'll just hide them. They, they'll, they'll never actually see the light of day again, and then no one will know. <laughs> Am I interested in New Game Plus, Hoofstar? I'm definitely going to play a New Game Plus run eventually. I just I'm, I was wondering, I was asking before, and I didn't see any response for it. Is there a way to take a save file on this and then still keep it? Or do I have to do something like take the save file out of the game folder and, and copy it?
Works just like souls, there's multiple save files? Okay. You have to back it up from the game folder? I'm gonna do that anyways, just to be safe, because I wouldn't want to lose this playthrough. So this is a whole nother area now? Oh man, and the, these guys are harder to kill? Oh no. That's not good. I might, this, this calls for the puppet axe, I think. I might have to take that back in. The weapon sucks. <laughs> Thank you. I try. I, did, I didn't make the game, but I mean, I, I definitely used the stuff in the game, so... <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll make sure to pass that on to the person that designed the Frozen Feast weapon. I'll be like, yo, your weapon sucks. My chat just said so. And, he, and then we're gonna not get a DLC, because he was gonna be the one that was gonna basically direct the DLC. It's upgraded? It's fully upgraded, yeah. Maybe I'm just playing the collector's edition of the game that's only made for premium partnered streamers that get puppet kills on the, the second last boss, or the, the last boss that's secret in two tries, and my enemies are harder than your enemies because they, they knew I was going to come into the game ready to play it. And I'm playing the harder version, so that's that's I think that's what's happening here. It's not actually the same game. <laughs> Someone's report notes notebook. This place is contaminated too. There isn't much extra water left. The kind hermit helped me, but he knows he's not going to last much longer either. Terrible mutations from the side effects of petrification disease neutralization process. Uh, many of people of Krat will turn into carcasses, the alchemist monsters. My friends are the only thing that come to mind in my final moments. Lumakino is ill, Sophie is missing, Lorenzini lost hope, and H is dead. Here I am too, Adoro. We risked our lives and fought from each post, but sometimes there are no rewards. Still, some things are left. Something even power and lies can't hide. The truth. Someone will unearth the truth. Someone will unveil the lie. Taking the extra step forward for the people coming behind. I believe that was my role. I am Medoro the reporter. My weapon was the pen and the truth. Now I leave my records to you who visits this place from Medoro. There we go, that was exciting. What an exhilarating note. Dist used Frozen Feast on his first playthrough and he was doing really good damage. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I am doing good damage with it from what I know. That one enemy just has a lot of health. I've never seen one of them that is easy to kill. It, it one shots a lot of other things. the get good version exactly does this connect just back into the other area we're at oh no there's another gazer over there uh but yeah i can still go under here there's a box start the game with your boyfriend at the same time and you finish the game three times and still He's still at Puppet King? Oh no. See, so he's playing the get good version too. <laughs> I'm gonna actually like make people believe that's a thing. I mean, I, I think that's the, the cool thing about these games. It's not really about how fast you beat it. You just want to have the most fun you can get out of it. And the longer it takes to beat, in my opinion, if you're enjoying yourself, you're getting more playtime and more value for your dollar. If you beat it in like 20 hours, this this game wouldn't be the same kind of playthrough as someone that, you know, maybe beat it in the time that I did or even longer. Like mine was 38 hours at least. So, uh, like it's like with Elden Ring, I did a 100 hour playthrough. People are like, yo, I beat it in 60 hours. I can't believe you're so slow. And it's like someone taking 200 hours, but they're just getting more out of it probably. And maybe even finding more things in some cases. Or learning more about the the fights that they died on more because they got more information even if they're not as high skilled 
But also too, it's like about actually overcoming it. If you if you beat this game, I think that you genuinely are pretty damn good at games. Especially if you're not using a Spectre at all the whole time. I think you actually are pretty damn good at games. That's that's my take, because this game's actually not easy at all. Uh, like I was I was pretty surprised. Like it's still mainstream, but it's like on that fine line of mainstream difficulty and like, you know, it, like people that are like making underground games that are a little harder than normal. It's like it's like just pushing towards that direction by a little bit past the mainstream difficulty. But like it's kind of like Sekiro on the way too that once you learn the mechanics pretty well, like you can utilize a lot of things to your advantage. Which is nice. Tried a Spectre once, and it was making the fight too easy, so you let the boss kill you. That's what I was kind of concerned about when I was doing the first playthrough. I didn't want to use that, and then it, like, accidentally killed the boss for me, and then I can't go back and do it again. Got King of Puppets to buff his weapon, and he got slaughtered. Ooh, we got back. Black Steel Cutter Blade. Advanced weapon. Slash an enemy in front of you multiple times, so it has Storm Slash. And then Guard Parry. Got him to buff his weapon and wait. Okay, so you're you're on the the Romeo part, right? The the phase two. When he when he buffs with the fire, unless you stagger him and kill him right there, I I don't really know what to tell you. <laughs> That's the part that I was stuck on, and then I killed him before he did it, or as he was buffing. Oh shit! I'm in the corner. What is this area amounting to? I'm curious. Just a bunch of treasure? And linking back to the other part? Or something else? I've seen the revelation of the blue butterfly. They asked me to free them from this prison of time. See how quickly you have to read to be able to get those? This is like the speed reading round before it disappears. Okay, first try speed run world record for the snow right here. The fairy is the far fairy crying. The hands on the clock have not gone around around to find a... <laughs> The hands on the clock have not gone round and round to find the boy's future. It, it's it's very very, or sorry, very long, or very quick, quick read. Yeah, five seconds for two whole sentences. What a scam! Okay, I actually know how to fight this guy. I can still stagger him. Because that's fun. people you love sometimes you must take steps through uncertain times and stand up again even in this era you can't see ahead of you when you can't see ahead of you a piano rings with emotion mystery mystery no misty era to accompany the foggy mornings of crowd sorry guys my reading is uh my reading ability is diminishing i used all the brain power on that second last boss and the the final one <laughs> we're still there we're hanging in there I leave the butterflies writing here. Remember, you are human. Now it's time to get out of the string. What's in the safe? Let's see. Black hats hunting apparel and quartz. Oh, nice, dude. We got the black one. Okay, so I wanted... I, when I picked up this outfit originally, the Monster Sweeper, I thought it was black. I wanted a version of that was black. And then we can do this. Or, you know, basically have any kind of... Even the white mask looks good with it, too. Have any darker masks on it. That's really cool. I finished the game. Yeah, we beat it. Um, 
like probably over a half an hour ago. Anyways, guys, I do have to actually go now, though. Um, but I will be playing this game again in the future. We're going to go back to Lords of the Fallen tomorrow. And I've only got two hours on that, so we're going to continue the playthrough and see if I can get it done when I come back from TwitchCon. So one stream tomorrow for as many hours as we can go for, probably like at least five hours, six hours. And then on Monday, or at least by Monday, we'll be going back to it. I might stream on the Sunday as well, but I'll be gone Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, again, before I leave here too, I, I launched a second YouTube channel just for all the long plays on the stream, all the first playthroughs and all of the unedited content that makes it onto the main channel. So please sub to it if you can. It's the last link in this command right here. Um, especially if you want to see this playthrough because it's going to be on there, but it won't be on the main channel unedited. Uh, at the very least, it might be edited, but I'm probably just going to do a review of the game instead. Um, so that's the place to make sure you're subbed if you want to see this and Lords of the Fallen, the full playthroughs. Also, check out the main YouTube channel if you're not subbed to it for some original videos and things that don't happen on the stream. Uh, Discord, if you want to know when I go live right away. Um, Twitter, if you want to know ahead of time, just like a, a, you know, maybe 30 minutes ahead, an hour ahead when I'm planning to stream later in the day. And then um, the Instagram, if you want to see other content that's just behind the scenes. And the TikTok, if you want to see clips from the stream you might have missed. And I will raid somebody and take you somewhere that is... Hopefully just as exciting as me beating the game, because that was amazing. Again, I'd say I'd give the game a 9 out of 10. But I'll, I'll definitely voice further opinions on it in a video. And I'll make sure I link that video in the chat when it's done. Okay, let's see who's Man. live. We got... Oh, we got V-Sweat playing Liza P again, too. He's doing the level 1 run. Uh... We're going to raid V-Sweat again, why not? V-Sweat is, uh, again, one of my original moderators, and somebody that v -Sweat is really cool. Uh, he's also another Canadian, too. And he does a lot of challenge runs on Dark Souls 3 specifically, and Elden Ring. He's probably one of the best Dark Souls 3 players. And I'd say Elden Ring players for challenges that are out there. He actually has more hours on Dark Souls 3 now, I think, than I do. And also more on Elden Ring, I'm pretty sure. But he's doing a level one run, or no leveling run on Liza P. And I rated him recently. Well, I guess we'll see where he is. And yeah, I'll see you guys again tomorrow with Lords of the Fallen. Let's go.